Hello. Hi. Y'all probably aren't used to seeing us like this. There's Nasada. He's over there. He's being blocked by his microphone. As I am usual. being blocked by the microphone. <laughs> he is a microphone. I am the microphone. That's what I am. That's my existence. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead and talk for me. I'm talking. Oh my god, you're coming in hot. <laughs> well, I did get I did get close to it. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to be that loud. Yeah, I'm talking. <laughs> god, reality. Yep. <laughs> oh no, not reality. I hate that. Yeah. Oh, there goes gravity. Uh, let's see. Uh, you get two beans, good sir. Oh. Ooh, I got a green apple. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, I've been getting some good beans lately. All right, let's see what I get. I got two beans, you said? Yeah. Help. I got nander. God, that camera is on level two. <laughs> There's not much I can really do for it. Well, then again, my house may just be horribly on level two. You know, bananas are one of those things that I'm not sure if I like or dislike. Mm-hmm. I, I, can't, I can't make a decision on that. Like, whenever I taste bananas, I'm like, this is delicious. But when I think about actually eating a banana when I, without actually eating a banana, I'm just like, I don't know if I want a banana. Yeah, no, I, I can get that. But when I taste a banana, I'm like, oh, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Ah, uh, they've got, a, they redeemed an exercise. All right, I guess I need to honor it because I'm on camera. Yep. Yeah. But the reason we're on camera. Yeah, I'll let you explain it while I do my exercises. Yeah, you got to do it in front of the camera. Yeah, let's see, am I in frame back here? I think yeah. I am. You are. The reason we're on camera is because we have more Japanese snacks. And we're going to try them out on screen before we start the game. But we're back for more uh, tactics. And we figure we'd get the, the, the Japanese snack tryouts out of the way first. Ah, oh, it's been a while since I've done push ups like that on the hard floor. <laughs> ah, I can feel it in my hands. Feeling it good in my hands. Ah, uh, yes, the treat box. Yep. Now, I will say, um, I have a confession to make. Uh-huh. Um, when the box came in, I um, I got the Kit Kats out of the box because I wanted to put them in the mini fridge that I have at home. And I was going to... Uh, hello, microphone. What are you doing with it? That way they can see your face. Well. A okay. little bit, at least. Well... I put it, I put the the Kit Kats in the fridge because I wanted to make sure that they stayed cold because you know they melt when they're right. shipped, and I forgot to put them in the box before I started driving over here. Uh, I left them at home, so I don't have the cookies and cream flavored Kit Kats. Unfortunately, you're hoarding them. I knew but it. Everything else is in here. <laughs> I didn't want to hoard them. I just accidentally left them behind. Eh, that's fine. It happens. But sure, yeah, actually, I'm <sighs> they're all mine. You can't have. Them. And, uh, chat, if you look in between me and Nasada, see that green spherical thing back there? There's a green spherical thing? Yeah, right there next to the bookcase. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this isn't tactics. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be getting there in a second. Uh, that's Boomer's treat ball, which we'll probably see later whenever we bring her in for dinner. Yep. So I was figuring I might come over here, set up Boomer Cam, because she usually runs around over here. Mm -hmm. while uh, she's eating dinner, so we'll see what happens. Yep. But this month's theme was Summer Matsuri. Summer Matsuri. And it's right, it goes from left to right. Mm -hmm. ah! Japan. Oh, it's a coupon thing. Uh, yep, scan me. Tokyo Treat. Let's see. So, the summer festival season. Okay. So that's what their theme is. is. Yep. The first thing I kind of want to try uh -huh. is this thing. It's oh like, my goodness. Yeah, look at that. It's an apple pie? Yeah. <laughs> we might have to heat that up. Well, how long do you heat it up for? The, the instructions are in Japanese. Well, like, <laughs> I, 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 you, you're, you're not, like, you don't have to heat it up. I'm just saying that it's something that you could do if you wanted. Yeah, look at that. We should have a redeemed a pet boomer. <laughs> yeah. She'll come for the pets whether you redeem for it or not. All right. Also, I have to point out, they've got like little plush Snorlaxes on the booklet. Yep. 
I love them. If I can... Alright, if I can just get this open. Please. Package. So that is a Kubo apple pie. Yeah. Not quite a Ringo Ami, but uh, we think this makes a good alternative to festive apples. Okay. There we go. Alright. So I kind of figure I could just break it in half. Yeah, it works. But yeah, I guess they do, uh, yeah, they do, uh, candied apples. And there. so this is kind of like a substitute for it. Yep, there you go. Ooh, it's really soft. Mm-hmm. It actually held up pretty well. Ooh. It's like croissant dough. Yeah. With, like, the filling of, a, of like, a fruit kolache. It reminds me of um, toaster strudels. That's what it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. Like an apple toaster strudel. Yeah, but like it's a little bit smoother on the jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Yum. Okay. What else we got? This is the biggest bag of the bunch. Okay. I don't know what it is. It just looks like chips. Uh, lemon yeah. chips, I think. Uh, white bag. Yeah, it looks like lemon Big. chips. There it is. Uh, Satoshi Lemon Salt Senbei. Uh, these crackers have a refreshing tartness and aroma of Satoshi lemons. So, yeah, they're like lemon chips. Yep. All right, now I just got to get the bag up. These, I like, don't know how I feel about lemon chips, honestly. I don't know either. But I'm willing to try them. Yeah, I'll give anything to try once. These bags are so hard to open. Yeah, they really do package them like to hell and back. They do a great job packaging them. It keeps them fresh, but my God, opening them is a Whereas like a bag of Lay's, you like sneeze at it the wrong way. It's going to open up and then yep. everything's going to be stale. Come on. Why not lemon lime? I don't know. Ah, God. Wow, you're really having some trouble with it. <laughs> Here, toss them here. Here, you try. <laughs> try not to spill them. Oh, that's why there's a tear tab at the top. There is? Yeah, you're supposed to tear it this way. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> well, then I'm an idiot. <laughs> but then again, then again, what else is new? Huh. It's kind of like a pig ear. Is it? Yeah. It's like a big puffy. It's like a Lay's chip, but a couch potato version. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's that saltiness. Yeah, it definitely has that like rice cake kind of taste. The lemon is in the aftertaste. Yeah. Like, it just tastes like a salty chip at first, but then when you swallow it, that's when you taste yeah, the lemon. Yeah, it's like a puffy corn chip, and then it tastes like of like an afterthought of, like, too salty with lemon. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Uh, I think you're just damaging the cars, being a witch. Pokemon TCG. What's up with Pokemon TCG? Ooh. Now there's a Pokemon Go expansion? Oh. This looks good. Look at that. All right. Uh, oh, it's like a... Yeah, it looks like a Rice Krispie Yeah, treat. it looks like a Rice Krispie. It was, I think I saw that earlier. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, Pankome Rice Bar. So, yeah, it's a rice bar. Okay, so it kind of is like a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah. Uh, this Japanese snack oh. whoop, <laughs> is going on the floor. First, before anything. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The snack takes Japanese rice and turns it into puffs, which are then flavored with soy sauce, sugar, sea salt, and sweet potato to create a sweet, uh, sweet and spicy treat. Sweet and spicy? Yeah. May contain traces of peanuts, shrimp, and crab. <laughs> crab. Crab. God, there's some good things in this book. All right. Denial. More than a river in Egypt. <laughs> there we go. There's your half. All right. 
Oh, I, I heard, like, how crunchy it was over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It definitely does not taste like a Rice Krispie Treat. I heard peanut shrimp and crying. <laughs> um, crying, my favorite, favorite flavor. That is a really interesting flavor. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely tastes like those... Like rice crackers, yeah. But they added a seasoning like coating on them, like they tossed all the rice like puffs in that coating, mm -hmm. and then mushed them into a ball, or to shape. Like, I could see myself enjoying this after having it a few times. Yeah, on first time it's, it's like, like an acquired taste. Yeah, it's definitely an acquired taste. Oh, wow, I can smell it coming from your direction. I'm not getting the spicy, though. Me, me neither. It was more sweet than spicy, which, for some people, they would like that. What you got? So... Oh, is that the like Fugashi? Kind of, is that what that is? The Fugashi? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yaokin Fugashi. A uh, classic festival favorite characterized by its light and crispy texture and the sweetness of molasses. Ooh. And Okinawan brown sugar cane. So yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like almost like a rice cracker brownie. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Also, I was just kind of examining what was up. Oh, what that else is like super frail. Hang on, this might get messy trying to break this in half. Ooh. There's some okay. There's something else in this box that I think everyone's gonna be familiar with. There you go. Oh wow, yeah, that's it's, it's super soft. It's super soft and super flaky. What so, is yeah, that's this? That's what it looks like. Uh, what is in it? Uh, molasses and brown sugar cane is all it says. Uh, may contain traces of soy. So it's a soy cake, I guess. I can definitely taste the soy. Oh, yeah, that outer coating is like super molasses-y. Whoo! Whoo! That is strong. Yeah, that, that kicks you in the face. Like, what? Like, do you like it? I'm not sure if I do. It's not bad, but it's a little bit too strong. Yeah, like, if it was not as strong... Like, I'd you, you have to enjoy the taste of, like, molasses and sugar cane. But, like, the, the puff filling, like, completely mm. disintegrates after, like, contact with your I, saliva. I, after, after biting into it a second time, I like it more. Bro. Yeah. Wow, it really... It just it completely melts in the mouth, yeah. like, instantly. It's like cotton candy... With molasses. Yeah, exactly. That's exact. That's a perfect description. <laughs> All right. Let's do something that's a little bit more on the familiar side. You know what these are. Oh, Bucky. Yeah. Yeah. Salty vanilla. Are you trying to get me to eat something close to what's in Kingdom Hearts? Uh, I mean, not me. Tokyo Treat. Uh. <laughs> What was that like? Salt, uh, sea salt, sea ice salt. Cream. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that tastes like. I've never had sea salt ice cream. Neither have I. <laughs> Although I heard you can. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Hey, there you go. Good That's... news is it survived. There you go. You get two for one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Bad news is they're kind of sticking together. Ooh, that's that's my favorite. That's my favorite so far. I got two for one too. That is my favorite so far. That is delicious. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That's like a vanilla cake. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. It's one hundred percent of vanilla cake. Oh, you barely taste the salt. Oh, I want another one, <laughs> like immediately. Baco and I made sea salt ice cream for Kingdom Hearts 3 stream. It was interesting. Yeah, I can understand. Especially yeah. depending on how salty you make it. Um, I'm, I mean, you got a whole second package in there, my dude. I'm, I'm, I'm having that again. 
I figured that's probably what you're going to be munching on in the stream. That was good. I love pokies. All right, what else we got? All right. Let's see. What should we do next? Whatever looks fancy. Well, these look fancy. Oh, that's pink. Sakura candy. Uh, might be a Matsura surprise snack. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it's one of these random bags. Yeah, because I know each uh, each box gets like a, a surprise treat. Yeah. So, yeah, you got the one on the top left, it looks like. All right. So, one. Let's plot another one. There we go. They're, yeah, it's it's hard. Oh, yeah. They're like little uh, lifesavers. Or... Yeah, like hard lifesavers. Yeah. <laughs> Those pokies are so good. <laughs> That's just a lifesaver. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lifesaver. That's exactly what it is. It's just a different flavor lifesaver. It's a good lifesaver, though. Wait, that's lychee. Is that lychee? What flavor is that? Can I see it? It just says soccer candy. Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> yeah, it, it has I'm pretty sure it has lychee. As part of the flavor. Yeah, is that what I'm tasting? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think that's a lychee lifesaver. That takes a while to to go after. Jeez. Yeah, we're going to be sucking on these for a little while. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be Unless we do this. Stuff. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I wonder if they could hear that. <laughs> Do you think people in Japan just do that? Just how, 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 probably how not. They're they're too nice. <laughs> what the heck are these? I things? crushed Velo. I'm only five Pokemon short for my full decks minus RCS. Nice, Dova. Um, these look like they're very sugary. <laughs> A lychee lightsaber. That'd be awesome. It's just this like faint pink lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Um. Is this? Oh, soda bubble candy? What? Soda bubble candy. That's what it says on the cover. Um, soda bubble candy. I must have passed it then. Soda bubble candy. I'm scared to try this. Oh, yeah. Bubble soda Ramune candy. Feel the bubbles and enjoy the taste like you're drinking Ramune. So, uh, this new and improved candy tastes even better than before. This sweet and sour candy is Matsuri ready. So it's like Ramune, which I've had before, but in a f candy form? What? I guess. Oh. So Ramune. Oh, it's kind of like, um, what are they called? Um, you know, Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Here, I'll give you one. Uh, if you're enjoying a summer festival with all the amazing food and nostalgic games, you're going to need a refreshment. Lucky for you, festivals will almost always have a stand selling this classic drink, the famous Ramune. Uh, its unique bottle design and flavor makes it a favorite drink for kids and adults alike. Uh, fun fact, the name comes from the Japanese phonetic spelling and pronunciation of lemonade. Uh, Hiram Cod was the inventor of the bottle's design, and Alexander Cameron Sim imported a sweet carbonated drink based on lemonade to Japan, which later became known as Ramune. I have had Ramune. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. I, I remember loving it. Because, like, um, isn't it, like, a thing where, like, you put something in the top? Yeah, what it is, you put something in the top, and then it loosens a glass ball that then sits in the middle of the bottle as you drink it. Yeah, and then the, as the soda and stuff passes by, it adds the flavor. Exactly. Yeah. But we don't have that, so do we just add it to water, or what? I think you just eat it. Just eat it? I think that's what you do. Okay. I'm brave enough to try it. I, th I you are. I think you just eat it. <laughs> We're going to find out. I have no <laughs> idea if that's correct or not, but I'm pretty sure that's what you do. 
Yeah, so, on, yeah. On, the, on the art, he's just putting it in his mouth. <laughs> the art, he's just putting it in his mouth. Okay. So I guess you just eat it. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. It's Whoa! Kind of, it's kind of like a sweet tart. Oh, hang on. Now it's going warhead. Yeah, once you peel off that outer layer, you get this, like, tartness to it. Like, it explodes and bubbles up and it just yeah. dominates your whole mouth. It's kind of frothy and, like, sticking to my mouth. Yeah. But, yeah. No, that is 100% ramen. Mm -hmm. I recognize that flavor. That's good. That's great. If I could talk because of the bubbles. Oh, yeah. It's very bubbly. What should we do next? Where's that other thing? I pulled out a tray before. Where's that tray? Oh, there it is. Yeah, whatever these things are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw those earlier. Yeah, well. no, I was, I was uh, mini Ramune candy. Oh, it's another Ramune candy? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, they're just little pop ones. Wow, they went all in on the Ramune this time. But I guess that makes sense. It's Summer Matsumi. Oh, I did a bad thing. I told Pussy. Ah. What did you do? Ah, uh, foam. Uh. Oh yeah, it gets foamy. You didn't know that already. Well, when I bit into it, and like it just went like. <laughs> oh, I I immediately bit into it. And it oh really? Up. Yes. I was just sucking on it, but like whenever I bit into it, like even chat you could probably see the blue in my mouth, just like. <laughs> <laughs> it just like it just rapidly expanded. Jeez, grow That's crazy. Expand, explode. Pretty much. I'm, right. I'm, there we go. Give I got, me a Ramune. Your tiny little Ramune give, give candy. Me, give me my ball candy. Are you ready to eat these two balls? Oh, yeah. Here you go, chat. It's a little teeny tiny little Ramune ball. Oh. Yeah, pretty much the same flavor. Just a little bit more um, cherry. Yeah, it's just in a hard coating. Mm -hmm. It's like a Ramune Skittle. I'm loving all the Ramune. Uh, representation in this one. There's one more Ramune thing too. There is. Yeah, sherbet Perro cider. It looks like a bottle, like just exploding out the top. Oh, is it the Fanta? No, it's this one. It's a sherbet Perro cider. So maybe. Let me see the top one. This one here. Yeah, that's the only we haven't done yet. Oh, I think this is in here. So wait, do you have to? Okay, do you have uh -huh. to? I don't know if you're supposed to mix this with something. Nah. That looks like you have to mix it with something. Nah. I don't know how to remune. I don't know how to remune. I typically either. don't drink my water with balls. Yeah, here it is. This is it right here. But is it's, it like a powder with like a stick? Yeah, it's just a powder. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this other uh, than. I think what it is is it comes with a stick. And then you dab it in it, and then you, like, lick it like a lollipop, and you keep sticking it in it. So that's probably one that you're just going to have to eat, because I don't think it's got... Yeah, I don't know how you and I could try it and share it. Yeah. That's fine. Um, there is another one in here. I don't know how we're going to share this one, because it's just a straight-up ice cream cone. Ah, well, then which one do you want? What? Do you want the ice cream cone or the other thing? Oh, you want to you wanna make us each choose? Yeah. But <laughs> it's your box, so I'll let you choose. Hmm. Uh, let me find that ice cream cone real quick. What is this? Uh, Chocato soft marshmallow candy. Oh, it's marshmallow. Yeah, it's a marshmallow cone. That does sound really good. This this box is just packed full of sugar. Oh yeah, no, it one hundred percent is like. <laughs> We're going to be hyper through the rest of the stream. Yeah. Until the sugar crash hits. All right. Um, well, if you want if you want to choose between one or the other, I'll let you have the ramen thing, and I'm going to have the ice cream cone. Okay. So I'm going to get the ramen soda pop thing, and then he's going to get this, which is the uh, chocolate marsh or the yeah the chocato marshmallow soft serve. So it's like an ice cream marshmallow thing. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely marshmallow. Okay, I, f I feel the wand. There's the there's the tear tab. 
you know it's going to be real powdery when you open it up you just get like a puff of like discolored air just like (laughs) (laughs) what the hell did i just bite into how is it this is weird but i like it i'll say so that's like a a blue lollipop and then you mix it in with all this, and then it gets like the little coating on it of the Ramune stuff. It's so sticky. That becomes so much more tart with the Ramune, but yeah, it's the same flavor as the Ramune from earlier. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it's literally just like a lollipop dip of Ramune coating. What a fascinating idea, dipping a lollipop. Yeah. I haven't really thought about it, but it makes sense. The saliva would make stuff stick to it. Yep. So this is just like marshmallow and chocolate on a very thin ice cream cone. It's very interesting, and it's very, it's very like, stretchy. And, like, it's very sticky. Uh-huh. And... Eat it in one gulp. I don't think I can eat this whole thing in one go. <laughs> Do it. I'm gonna, uh... <laughs> Chubby buddy, challenge it. <laughs> Chubby buddy. <laughs> Chubby buddy. Let's see. Are we missing anything oh. else? So we did Chubby that. Chubby buddy. There you go. <laughs> Did that one. Yeah, not a whole thing in my mouth. So good, buddy. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, there's the Fanta thing. I left that at home. You left that at home? Okay. I figured, um, I figured um, the drink we wouldn't be able to try together, so. Right. Uh, and then it looks like we have Yakisoba Taro, uh, Nissan UFO Strong Daishin Yakisoba. So we have two Yakisoba things, and then we have the Salted Cracker. Oh, yeah, the Salty Cracker. Where was that at? I saw it before. I saw it before. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this thing. Oh, it's got a little bunny on it. Yeah. Look at a little bunny. I'll hold that up for chat. Look at that little bunny. So, yeah, it's an adorable little bunny. Yeah. He's hopping. So, I think there's two crackers in there, so we can each get one. Yep. Uh, Wheat crackers. Got a little flower on his head. So, it's a wheat cracker. Okay. So do I? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I keep trying to open these the way that I'm used to, but Japan's just oh, like, yeah, no, no, that's they, not how you're supposed no, to open they, it. They are like masters of hiding little tear tabs on like the topper sides. There you go. All right. So yeah, it's like a wheat cracker. Uh, yeah, not gonna lie, it does look good. That's salty. It's a Triscuit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a Triscuit. <laughs> it's just a that's, Triscuit. That's the flavor. It's like slightly slightly different Triscuit. I like it. Yeah. Because you get a bit of the oil and stuff that you don't get with the Triscuit. Yep. Oh, there's more. All right. Yeah. We're... Do we have the Yakisoba stuff? The what? The yakisoba, the noodle bowls. Yeah, these guys. Or wait, is that what these are? I have no idea what these are. Oh, oh the no, no, that—that's that, one of the yakisoba things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the noodle bowl I left at home because we would have had to like heat up water and make the pasta. Yeah. I was like, no, we we can't, we won't have time to do that. <laughs> Light and flavorful snack is like having the dried snack version of the delicious yakisoba you would get from a yatai food stall. Uh, you can eat it by taking small pinches or devouring it all in one bite. The choice is yours. <laughs> that look that you're giving me. You know you want to try. <laughs> you know you want to try and gulp it all in one bite. Yeah. So how about this? I'll take a tiny pinch, and then you'll go whole hog. All right. Which is even better, because like the picture 
is a pig. <laughs> on the I love the little animal mascots they put on these. Mm. Oh yeah, like Japan is like the the country of like mascots. Oh yeah, of course they are. And that's one of the reasons I love them. It's been a long time since I've had yakisoba. I have no idea what it tastes like. I had a hiccup. Yeah, that's yakisoba. That's the flavor. I have to taste it before I go. Let no, me taste. You go whole hog. Let me you taste. Go whole hog. Let me taste it first. You eat the whole thing. I'm tasting it first. Eat it like a man. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yeah. So eat it. Don't you trust Japan? Why would they make anything that doesn't taste good? <laughs> God, I can hear the crunch over here. Like, that's got to be picking up in the microphone. <laughs> so, yeah, imagine that, but in noodle form. That's what the bowl's going to taste like. <laughs> it's just staring at me the whole time. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this would be the yakisoba bowl that he didn't bring because it would take too long to make. But, yeah. yeah, but that thing, this thing up here in the corner... Tastes exactly like this thing. It's just this is actually like a noodle. Was there anything else? Or was that everything? I think it was everything. Yeah. Other than the things I didn't bring. I did. Like I said, it did come with the Kit Kats. But I left them home at home by mistake. Because mm -hmm. I was putting them in the fridge to get them cold because they melted. And then I forgot to put them back in the box. Mm-hmm. They're cookies and cream uh, Kit Kats. So, they've got to be really good. Oh, they've got uh, Okonomiyaki, uh, Takayaki. God, there's so many things I've wanted to try. I'm taking this. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, you paid for it, so have at it. <laughs> Champ. They're all stuck together, so I'll just have all of them at once. There you go. That's how Americans do. <laughs> Not that I ate the Kit Kats. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he didn't want to share. But, all right. I think we're good to probably swap over here soon. You can swap over. All right. And then we'll start playing once I finish this. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. Swap it over. Uh, that one. And then hopefully y'all can still hear us. Um, let's see. What should I do for Boomer Cam? Uh, okay, there's that one again. Hi, everybody. I love pokies. And then <laughs> what we'll do is we'll crop that. Like, legit, if, if no one else watching this stream... Like, if anyone else in this stream has not had a pokey before... You should try pokies. They are delicious. So they, they are amazing. They're we'll, just these uh, little sugary sticks. We'll we'll save that uh, the boomer cam for later. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna grab some water real yeah, quick. Yeah, I was I was thinking I was gonna get a beverage and then we'll get started. I'll gra I'll grab you a water if you want. Uh, no, I think I was going to get a Diet Coke for myself, right. but go ahead and grab your water, and then I'll grab mine later. Yeah, that way... I'll stay with chat for a minute. Somebody's got to stay with chat. Yeah, we can't leave them unaccounted for. Exactly. They'd tear the whole place up. It'd be like a cat and throw everything around. The philosophy of a cat. Everything has its place. Yes. And then it pushes something off the counter, and then the owner asks, why did you do that? The cat responds, that was not its place. <laughs> Quite the tale. The wisdom of a cat. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to pour this bottle of water into my Whataburger cup because it has ice in it. Ah. I keep forgetting to turn on the ice maker. Well, I also just didn't want to put the ice to waste. Oh, thank you. No, not the bumbler cat. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. 
No. Oh, speaking of cats, uh, I'm beginning to think Boomer might think they're a cat. <laughs> what? So ever since we got this couch, you'll probably experience it tonight. Uh, Boomer is very fluffy right now because we had to wait to get her uh, grooming done. So uh -huh. she's very fluffy right now. And because of that, she's been rubbing herself on everything. So she'll just do laps around the couch, just like rubbing herself into it. Which is why I wanted to set up Boomer Cam so I can capture it on film. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry if y'all heard that super loud. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Crushing water bottle saves room in the, in the there we go. can. There we go. All right. Uh, all right. So you go ahead and start getting your team and everything figured out. It hasn't changed since last time, so I don't know what you need to figure out. I will look into it while you are getting a beverage. All right. Let's see. Formation. We were in the menu already, but that's fine. Okay. Let's see what we got. I, I still want to eat more of those pokies. Those were delicious. That's right, because he's a, he's a punchy, punchy ninja monk. Let's see, we have him at... It's been three weeks since I've played. <clears throat> so forgive me if I have to remind myself what's going on here. Ugh. Excuse me. Jeez. Oh, God. That ramune. Uh... It does. It does. It's very bubbly. But that's what it's known for. You're bubbly. <laughs> no, you're bumbly. Get it? You're bumbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm clever. You're cute. I get it. <laughs> I'm adorable. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I, let me put that a different way. <laughs> Bitch, I'm adorable. There you go. <laughs> 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 Jeez. What you said. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Alright, punch art, throw, blade grasp. Uh, what did blade grasp do again? Uh, was uh, that a dodgy dodgy? That was the thing that if oh, you... Oh, evades physical attack. Yeah, if you get attacked, you uh, stop it. Use a weapon in each hand. Oh, that's right. Even if not a ninja. So yeah, that's why he's the punchy punchy ninja. Monk. Yeah. Dude. Precisely. Wow. Um, All right, chat, can you chat for me so I can check chat? <laughs> hey, chat, can you chat so we can chat? Thanks. <laughs> uh, were we saving for anything for Monk? Uh, no, we were just learning stuff. Because we were trying to get, like, revive and some of the other, like, core abilities. Okay. Oh, we do have revive. But yeah, we were just learning stuff as Monk. Alright. There we go. The little Mac Ninja. Thank you. Alright, so uh, Bard uh, has one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one point. <laughs> one single point. Um. So, now you're at the point where if you want to like have your characters get other stuff, now's the time to do it. Because you just cleared a major like checkpoint in the game. Yeah. Because <clears throat> if we wanted to, we could uh, learn more dancer stuff for her. Which, she already knows all the dances. It's all the side stuff. Oh, well. All right, then. Yeah. So it's now it's just like, do you want to learn teleport? Oh, that's right, because we wanted to teach her more of the priest stuff. Yeah. Because that stuff's expansive, like re-raise and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, we want to keep her as a, as a priest. But, and yeah, now's the point in the time of the game if you want to start getting like all of your characters decked out with their like final builds. Like now's the time to do it. Because he was a bard. Oh yeah, that's right, bard and uh, chemist, which he's already a master at chemist. Yep. Uh, I mean he's pretty much like kind of decked out for his build. Yeah, he's pretty pretty much like he's like, good he's to all go. set. Like at this point, the only thing left to do is just get some of his extra bard stuff. Yeah. Other than that, he's he's all he, set. He Gucci. <clears throat> all right, you <laughs> there. One of our 
prized possessions. Yep. Uh, yeah, they know all the calculator stuff. Yeah, they know all of that. Yep, yeah, it's just all the side stuff, which aren't really necessary. Hmm. So what does Wizard have that we haven't learned yet? Uh, fire 4, Bolt yeah, 4. Yeah, Fire 3 and 4 are big. Yeah, uh, Death. Why do we know? Oh, that's right. Because he... Okay, that's right. She's primarily a Bolt user. Yeah, well, that was on you. Well, because that was what was dealing the most damage. Um, so we want to get her bolt three for sure. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, um, yeah, I think bolt three is the big thing. Okay. Uh, but we do want to teach her the other spells too, though. And then, ooh, oh yeah, we were leveling up the thief. Jump thief. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were yeah. working on. Yeah. In case like somebody had something that we wanted, we can just yoink it. <laughs> Oh, right. We wanted to teach him uh, Steel Shield, too. Yep. And then I think we also needed to get Secret Hunt. Oh, we have it already. We have Secret Hunt. Never mind. What does that do? Uh, if you beat a monster, you can take it for, uh, to the shop. For shop. Yeah, so you essentially, if the thief kills a monster, you skin it and you can sell its belt. Nice. So, yeah, we want to... I think the main thing for Thief is uh, Steel Shield mm -hmm. at this point. Which won't be that long. And then uh, at that point, I think we were just going all in on Dragoon for him, weren't we? Uh, which, I mean, we've pretty much almost maxed out unless you wanted to get Dragon Spirit. Uh, protection from death. But I think he has blade crafts too, so... Eh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the problem with uh, Boomer is that <clears throat> he, he's kind of a weird in-between. Yeah. He, he doesn't really fulfill, like, a specific role. He's yeah. just good to have around. Yeah. You know? He's an extra set of hands. Right. <laughs> He's a long ring physical with the jumping. And then I think that was... Yeah, I think yeah, that, was, that was the core. Yeah, that was the core of our group. Everyone else is just kind of like, We're here too! <laughs> Thank you, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and, yeah, I think equipment's good. I think so. Assassin there. Yep. So yeah, we're good. So I then hereby declare that I guess we should start doing Wait, some. Were we in chapter battles. four? Uh, yeah, we're in the last chapter. Okay. So are these just like side events leading up to the the next big thing? Like here? yeah, Ziltenia. Okay, so we could totally use these two fights. Yep. To level. Yep. All right, then we'll do that. <laughs> Bing, bong, bong. Also, it is already now 7 o'clock, and we're only just now starting to play the game. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> we spent so long just eating snacks. Well, just think of it this way. This is the normal time that Baku would start streaming. I mean, true. <laughs> but also, true. Uh, looks like you have a split squad. Oh, it did give us a split squad. Ah. Uh, okay. So then it would be Thief and White Mage. Yep. I don't know how to feel about that group. Uh, you could put your bard in group two with the... So you'd have Dancer Bard. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, all right. I guess you're over there now. <laughs> uh, you have been replaced. <laughs> By me, the protagonist. Well, that was your dancer. Oh, right. Sorry. He is silly. We wanted to put uh, the thief here. Yeah, Boomer. Boomer. Where is it? Man, I wish there was a better way to sort this. Wait, what? Where's Boomer? The... Did I pass him? I think he might have. But no, where's what Boomer? The... Oh, because they're putting group two right now, so they're that's why. Yep. Oh, all right. No, there, there we go. All right, let me get you off. There, there we go. you go. All right, no. Now they should pop up. I was like, where? The fucking there, there. There you go. <laughs> Double groups can get a little confusing. Mm, we're being tactical yet? We are now, Wolf. There we go. Bard dancer. Just about to start the first fight. An hour late. Yeah, because we ate snacks. Delicious snacks. Sneaky snackies. 
I still want more of those pokies. But I'm going to hold off. Honestly, that kind of makes me want to just be like, you know what? I'm going to go on the internet and buy more pokies. <laughs> <clears throat> eh, there we go. I'm oh. Melendu. Oh, um. I forgot if they were important. I, um, I know they're important for a while, at least. I made you. I came to avenge my brother. So I forgot who they were related to. Avenge your brother? What are you talking about? <clears throat> You're denying it. Islude, whom you killed at Riovones. Riovones was my brother. Islude. Oh, that's right. I just like I just like that name. Islude. I'm going to kill you, not for the high priest, but for my brother. Why do I like that voice? I'm trying to remember who Islude was. Glug, glug, glug. I think it just sounds funny because it has the word lewd in it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, gotta hydrate. Thank you. Islude. Uh, what are you guys? Thief! No, no, ninja. Never mm. mind. Oh, they're a Divine Knight. Ooh, and he has re-raise. And regen. Mm. Oh my god, they can jump all the way up there. Uh, oh yeah, they totally could. Wow. All right, let's see. Y'all have to bear with me for a little bit. I haven't played this game in three weeks. so. Oh, Islude was the Dragoon. The Dragoon? Yeah. Under the bookshelves. Under uh, Orbonne. <laughs> There's a dragoon under my bookshelf. Yeah. <laughs> like there was the secret chasm that goes to the underground of the Orbonne to the secret library, and then we killed him down there. Remember? Vaguely. I think I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. It was the fight right before the bullshit fight. There have been a lot of bullshit fights. That's fair. Um, okay, so Katarin. Katarin. Which one? Which one is Kiyomi? Uh -huh. That is Katarin. That is Kiyomi. All right, so I have a. The Kiyomi is the one I have the best chance of hitting with jump. All right. And they're in range. Yep. Well, actually, they're that ninety-one CT. Could you jump on Meliodul though? Yeah, but they're also the seventh to go. Yeah, but he would have the lowest CT, wouldn't he? Because he just went. No, Melia Duel. Yeah, the guy you're supposed to kill. Because those guys already had a turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, that actually would be a safer bet. Just doesn't do as much damage, but... All right. So... I mean, I'm going to attack you because you have re-raise, so... Well, actually, no. He has regen, let's, too, yeah. Let's let's get rid of the ads first. Okay. Wee. Quick rule of thumb. Always get rid of the ads. Yep. Uh, there's a dragoon in the bookshelf. Let him out. <laughs> oh, there's a dragoon in the bookshelf. Let him out. I was thinking Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the one. Gotcha. There's a dragoon. There's a dragoon. There's a dragoon. Dragoon is really hard to sing with. <laughs> there's a dwarf in the well. Let him out. There you go. There's a dwarf in the well. Let him out. There's a dwarf in the well. Any star in this world. There's a dwarf in the well. Let him out. Let me out! <laughs> I love that song. Uh, it absolutely is dope. It is professional bullshit. That fight. Yeah, it's not just regular bullshit. It's professional bullshit. So what you thinking about doing? Well, what I'm thinking about doing is throwing a thing. <gasps> well, I mean, you have five more Osamis. I'm gonna throw a sword at your head. Ooh, fifty-seven percent chance. <laughs> Stupid dodgy ninja! You made me look bad. Booga booga booga. All right, what you gonna do? No, I'm not going there. <laughs> That's a dumb joke. <laughs> I'm not. Please, what have we built our careers upon? <laughs> <laughs> I am not making that joke. <laughs> ah, fair. <laughs> I don't know why I started. Because <laughs> your mind noggin told you it was a good idea? Yeah. 
Uh, which which one was the one that? Uh, well, I guess I don't really the random that debuffs. Yet. Wait, no, not that one. Not that one, not that one, not that one. Uh, lowers yeah. enemy speed. So I could do slow dance. That takes a while, though. Oh, wow, these dance... Okay, so yeah, that actually is about a normal speed, then. Yep. All right, well, um, I could lower magic power or physical power. Or random debuffs, because chaos. Yeah, we'll do that, because that's fun. I should have called the stream where the good shit resides. <laughs> I'm a hide back here. Yep. Oh, they're hiding. How dare you hide? You're not allowed to do that. Yes. Yep. So I thought that was like another 15 minutes. Yeah. You want to wait closer to 7.30? You want to go ahead and do it now? Uh, let's see. Okay. We'll, we'll wait a little bit longer. I wish I could have a better view. Nah, you don't need to see what you're doing. I would love to see what I'm doing. Just do it. I can't exactly do something if I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, I guess I'm coming over here. Because <coughs> I need to cast magic. Or, I can man. He's learning. Oh, oh, we got, uh, we got one of their summoners. Yeah, one of them. None of ours. Yeah, so we could, oh, no, we got an archer too. Oh. <laughs> Pull three. Let's do this. Execute. <laughs> Execute order sixty six. Oh, that one was in it too. That makes it even better. Bye. What have we done? We've made a monster. Why does it seem like those attacks were re weaker than I remember? Uh, probably because the enemies jumped up in level because of the new, like, chapter. Like, for some reason, I remember those attacks doing something like four to 500 damage. Yeah. Or am I thinking of Ramza? I think uh, I'm thinking of Ramza. Yeah, because he gets the two punches that were like 300, but yeah, no, I mean, it, it, did, it did the job. <laughs> All right, you're going to be the MP battery for a bit. Nobody's used any mana. The black ma the black mage has. Ma math doesn't take mana. It doesn't. Nope. Oh well, I made a mistake Oop. then. That's the power of math. <laughs> it doesn't need spell slots. You just do stuff. Oh, they're throwing that sword back. How dare you! That's what I do. Yay, mana! Mana that I apparently didn't spend. <laughs> Watch me dance. Ooh, blind on the dark knight or the dude. Ooh. Oh, and confusion. That's that's great. Yeah, blind and confusion. That's that is an amazing combination. Uh, is he true. gonna hit his comrade? Okay, I thought he was gonna hit his comrade. Well, your mage is dead. And they broke something. Well, but, 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 but my black robe. Yep. Black robe. Go up there and steal a sword. Wee! Wow, they can jump. Give me your stuff. Oh god, it's only eighteen percent chance. I don't care. Give me your <laughs> stuff. Doink. Aww. Alright, well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah you... they're all up on the house. You can't get up there. You could pick up your black mage, though. I don't think Ramza could do that. He has, oh, wait, he has, that's right. He, he has, has the. He has Scream Revive. Um, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, he just yells at them to get back to life. 
<laughs> Get up! Wake up! Wake up! And it's 100%. Perfect. Perfect. Get the fuck up! Oh, thank you. No problem! And now you can move. Yay! Yeah. All right. Wait, magic. Eh, somebody's gonna go before the heel goes off. I think it's the confused ninja. Yeah, so. Ooh, yeah, I could heal the black mage exactly from where I'm at. Cool. Which, I mean, they got one shot by the knight anyway, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. Oh no, it was the archer. Forgot about the archer. Wake up! Yeah, they just unconfused their comrade. <laughs> well, at least it was a waste of a turn. Yep. Convenient. No. Nope. All right, so. You can probably just black magic nuke them from here. Uh, It'll take seven turns to do a bolt three, so let's we, we can do a man. We got some hits up there. Yeah, but it's already dead people. Oh, and the archer. I forgot about the archer. <clears throat> I mean, it, it, it guarantee hits the heart, the archer. Yeah. But I mean, I could look at other options. It's up to you. We know that is at least an option. Right, so this would hit the black mage. And just, that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I think height might actually be a good one because they're all. Oh, that's a good point. Let's try up height. There. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you could hit the archer and the main dude. It and, does and hit the yourself. black mage, yeah. So it'll kill the black mage, but it would hurt them significantly. But yeah, yeah. So that it's an option, but it's a a hurtful one. Wait, no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you for the notification first. Yeah. What height are they? I don't know. Let's try. Uh, okay, that would hit Boomer and them, so it's probably three then. Nope. Okay, same thing. Oh, and it's going to get rams at that time, too. All right, so height's not the answer. Huh. Let's try level. All right. Wait, hold on. Did we look at, did we look at the other CTs or no? I don't think we did. I think we just checked prime. Uh, you can hit the ninja. It would hit the ninja, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it seems to be what you're just getting is just getting the one. Yeah. I mean... It's a safe option. Yeah. That would hit the, the a main... Lot of, a lot of people. Yeah. It would hit a lot of people, including the main one. And what about five? Nope. Just you. I don't want to attack just myself. Yep. What about level? Ooh, that's just him. Yeah, it doesn't hit anyone else. That might be spicy. So. Or you could go with flare. I could do flare. I don't I honestly don't know which one's stronger. Just one's zero. not one's not elemental. Also, what is up with the zero percent? Uh, it's because it doesn't have accurate targeting because it targets based off of weird stuff. So it, mm -hmm. it's it's not. It just always shows zero. You know what? Let's 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 do flare on the big person. Let's see how much it does. Level five flare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> flare it up. No more re rays. <laughs> I will kill you for my brother. Ah! <laughs> Listen, the next time we meet is the day you die. Remember that. Yeah, we're uh, we're a little bit stacked. <laughs> but you, like, you have a physical destruction house and a magic destruction house. <laughs> like, you could probably just go to end game like as is. 
And I think you'd probably be fine. <laughs> Uh, we need to get our black robe back, though, because they broke it! Yeah, I think we had a backup, though. Just have to remember to equip it. But yeah, it, it's stuff like that that makes people make everybody go chemist so they can learn maintenance so their stuff doesn't get broken. Uh, yeah. But then you lose out on a lot of other like cool like counter abilities and stuff. Alright, do we have a backup? I think we do. Is the black robe. Yeah. We have a wizard robe, but we don't. It doesn't look like we have a black robe. Oh. Well, you can always go buy another yeah, one. Yeah. So, where, where do you get one of those? Uh, a regular town, not the big. Yeah, Free City. They, she might, they might have one here. I hope so. Wizard Ron. Uh, oh. That might have been a unique. Oh, no, there it oh, is. There black it is. Robe. Black robe. Oh, just expansive. That's right. That was the thing that was giving you, like, boosts to, like, stuff. Yeah, no, it's a really good item for yeah. the Black Mage. That's why I'm just like, no, we need that back. Why the hell do you have a bomb? Because you got the bomb. <laughs> I am the bomb. <laughs> you're the one You're the one who was just like, hey, guess what? I was like, what? And you're like, I got a bomb. Darn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, because it strengthens fire yeah. like nice. Oh, God, that's so nice. <clears throat> yeah. So, because this is just a magic plus two, so it stacks. Yeah. Because it's not a stat increase. Yeah, and then that's a magic plus two, yep. So. Oof. Yep. Yeah, 16 magic. That'll that'll put the hurting on anyone. All right. Save. By the way, were you wanting to do any, like, extra content? Uh, Which? I shall save at the top one. Uh, extra content, what do you mean? Yeah, like get secret characters and stuff. Uh, if people want to see more. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Next fight. I'm gonna kill all of you. With my ninja and magic. Ninja magic. Y'all ready for ninja magic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> what? What happened? Uh, there's a duplication glitch in the original. A duplication glitch, you said? Yeah, so uh, what you do is you have somebody with the two sword skill. Uh, which you get from Ninja that allows you to dual wield. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you change that person into a knight. Equip the weapon in their left hand and then a weak shield into the right hand. And then head to any castle and use the best fit on that person. You should get a menu that shows that you are buying the weapon that you want to duplicate, even if it's a unique item. So then you choose yes, and it actually will duplicate over the shield. And now you'll have like two copies of like unique items and stuff. Oh, wow. Or you could, like, duplicate stuff. Yeah, I forgot about that. That, yeah, you could exploit the hell out of that to get some, like, just power your whole group up with just the most powerful shit. Especially based on, like, specific builds. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Treasure's deeper than I thought. You gotta be careful. Chocobos! Ooh, it's the red and black chocobos. You're gonna get fucked up, dude. Oh no, it is the red chocobos. We're dead. Yeah, that red chocobo is going to screw we're, we're, Is that a we're teddy doomed. bear? We're doomed. Nope. It, 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 te, it, it, teddy bear means... War? Yep, 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 that. I've played enough Final Fantasy XIV to know that you don't mess with red chocobos. Yep. War? Ow. That is totally a teddy bear. We're fighting a teddy bear. Why are we fighting a teddy bear? <laughs> We're fighting a teddy bear and a bunch of chocobos. Hell yeah. Is that supposed to be like a moogle? It, 
Is that supposed to be a moogle? I don't know. Let's go look at him. It was at this moment that it looked he like knew a pig bear, though. He fucked up. Yeah, it's like a pig. Yeah. Aribo? Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It looks like a teddy bear and a pig had a baby. Yep. <laughs> yeah, red chocobos are not meant to screw around. At least they're not tonberries, that's fair. It burned up! Yeah. And Leah says it's a pig. Yeah, 100% a pig. So it's Ramsey. Oh, uh, we, we have to... We have to go get Worker 8, at least. And Cloud. Oh, that's right, Cloud's in the game. Yep. Because this came out around that time. Which he's one of the last ones you get because you have to you have to get some of the other ones before you can. Didn't get you him. tell me that he's not even that great of a character? Yeah, no, he comes in level one, and when you're like level like forty something, so yeah, he's like way behind the curve. <laughs> Hello, Red Chocobo. Guess what? Your priority of numero uno. Yeah. Although I will say, I think he gets Omni Slash as one of his like unique Squire abilities. <laughs> I love that that's a squire ability. Well, yeah. Well, his default squire, like, changes into, I think, soldier. You know? Yeah. Like, like they, they rename squire to whatever their unique class is. Uh, you know what? I'm a jump. And you just had a turn, so guess who I'm jumping on? That <laughs> point blank. Whee! Point blank jump. You know, it's oddly poetic that... What? The one named after my dog jumps on people like my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your giant 80 pound dog. A uh, hundred pound. Hundred pound dog. Yeah. It's gotten heavier since the last time uh, I heard about her weight when you said 78 pounds. Of Boomer! Yeah. <laughs> no, she's grown into it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we were doing Nameless Dance. Uh, sure, why not? It's chaos. Yay, chaos! And then run. Because meteors are coming. <laughs> You'll just stand up here like a like a statue. There you go. It's like you're, 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 like everyone on the field now has to watch you yeah. dance. Look, not going to lie, I would totally have... I, I want to do a Chocobo-only playthrough of this game. Yeah, you said that it, once before. Well, I was thinking about just doing a monster run, but I'm just like, no, 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 no. You just need chocobos. You need, like, one black chocobo for the ability to fly, like, two red chocobos, and then, like, two yellow. And you're good. Oh, that's going to hit everybody. Oh, jeez. Jeez, yeah, that's going to hit literally everybody. Do it. <laughs> no. Do it. No. Cower. No. <laughs> Don't you have, like, rubber shoes on some of your people? Some of them. Not all of them. Uh, oh, we could hit the black chocobo. You could just, like, get rid of one of them. This is one of the things about math. It's just, like, I, I can't help but, like, go through the different options and see if there's better Oh, yeah. Options. No, this is usually and it what... it takes a while. This is usually what ends up happening. What a lot of people do, that would hit two of them. That was a pretty good one. Wait, did it hit two? Or one? Yeah, it's the two on the bottom. Oh, it did hit both of them. I yeah. didn't even see the the other one. All right. And it doesn't hit any of your guys. Actually, that. yeah, that's a that's a good one. Yeah, uh, I know what a lot of people would do is uh, they'll just they'll train a calculator and then set it to auto battle and let the AI figure out the math. <laughs> I don't trust the AI to pick the best option. Oh no, they pick the best option, but they uh, play the way I do with a reckless disregard for your own companions. Exactly. No. Poor, Poor chocobos. chocobos. <laughs> no blue chocobo? No, unfortunately, blue chocobos don't really appear until 9, as far as I remember. I just flared two chocobos dead and then ran away. Yeah, because in the older Final Fantasies, like, water was always handled by, like, a ship. And it wasn't until 9 when you actually had a chocobo that could go into the water, you know? Mm-hmm. Yo, let's do a life song because these guys do a lot of damage. Yeah, meteor, meteor hurts. It does. So a life song is a good idea. 
<laughs> we got uh, we got the bard at, uh, playing music and the dancer dancing up there. Oh, it counters. Yep. Yeah, if you jump at point blank like that, they can counter. Yes, please. Heal everyone, except for the enemies. Don't heal them. <laughs> Screw those guys. Yep. All right, chaos time. What are we going to get? Give us chaos! Ooh, confusion. That's good. Ooh, silence on the red. <gasps> oh, yes! The red one is exactly who I wanted to be silenced. Yep. Because now they can't do choco meter. Uh, yep. Yeah, he's just running. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wait. No, he can still meteor. Never mind. What? That's a spell! I call bullshit! I guess it's a, just a special ability. I call bullshit! <laughs> Did you see the face on the truck? Well, look at him whenever he's confused. <laughs> he's like, <"Arr."> <laughs> <laughs> That is a mood if I ever saw one. <laughs> 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 I block your paw. Oh, you made a terrible yeah, mistake. Yeah, you, you you chose the wrong dude to mess with. <laughs> yep. You just chose. <laughs> Their to... feathers kind of look like little lightsabers on the ground. Yeah. You just chose to tango with probably the strongest person in the party here. Tango buddy. Foxtrot. Hoya, and hoya. Told ya. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like. The person that's like the strongest in the party is easily a toss up between who can get in range first. <laughs> Your black major Ramza. <laughs> yeah. See, you know what? Yeah, just 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 keep dancing. Uh, you do have a dead compadre on the field. I do actually. You're right. I'll I'll figure something out. Which, I mean, at the rate you're going, you'll clear the battle before they die, but... Yeah. Um, ooh, two turns. All right. We got to make this quick. Actually, before I move, let's check on our, our, our math. Okay. They're all at a very similar height. You might be able to use that. Oh, wait, never mind. No, they're not. I lied. <laughs> that'll, get rid of t that'll get rid of one of them. It'll get rid of the uh, the red one. The problem child. Yeah. That's such bullshit. Why does silence not get rid of meteor? That's so dumb. Because I guess it's a skill, not in spell. Question mark. Yeah, but meteor is a spell. Like that. Like that's what it's always been. Like why would they make an exception here? Because it's choco meteor. Oh wow, that <laughs> makes it so special. <laughs> The, the 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 devil's in the details. It says Choco, which makes it special. Well, you know what? <laughs> Just gonna nuke that one. He can him and his Choco meteor can go fuck <laughs> themselves. Dang, harsh. How did you do six hundred to the other guy, and now you're only doing like two hundred to these guys? Don't know. Are Chocobos just that much more, like, resilient than Divine Knights? <laughs> hop, hop. Yup. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what that little pig dude's supposed to do. He's just kind of wandering around not doing much. Yeah. Like, why is he even here? Eh, yeah, to look cute. No, I'm an adorable little pig. I almost feel like this fight is supposed to be kind of like a throwback to, like, Moogles and Chocobos just hanging out in the woods. Oh, well, you got silence and sleep. Nice. Let's see. You want to at least start moving towards your dude? Yeah. In case you can reach them and pick them up. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, you can't reach. I'm gonna have to go in the water, aren't I? Yeah. Bleesh. <laughs> no, you'll be able to punch him next turn, at least. Life song. Alright, 
how's our thief doing? One turn, all right. Cool. All right, let's see. We gotta get rid of the, uh, the chocobo and the pig. So that doesn't hit anyone. No. That chocobo is so sad. Yeah, well, I mean, he's taking a nap. And he's confused. He's confused about napping. He doesn't know how he feels about oh, napping. Oh, okay. I did just have an idea on how to pick him up, but I have to get just the right map. <laughs> yeah, no, just raise all of them. No. <laughs> there you go. That works. That hits everybody. That, that, yeah, and it also raises the the dead. Do tokens. it. <laughs> no. Coward. <laughs> Fine. I'm a coward. I accept it. <laughs> I accept this as my fate. Oh, that hits uh... the chocobo. Yeah. Yeah. If I wanted to, I could just kill the chocobo right now. Yeah, because Ramza can punch the pig. That sounds weird. <laughs> Ramza can punch a pig! Hey, that you're sounds one weird. of them there pig punchers, aren't you? Alright. So at this rate, I don't know if anybody's going to actually make it down there in time to save them. So at this point, I just have to just nuke the field and destroy the world. Out. That's what I have to do. Um, destroy us all! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! I'll take the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> God, I haven't thought of that show in a while. <sighs> there you go. That'll hit your bard and the Ramza and Chokebo. Be fun I for think, the whole family. I think Rams is wearing rubber shoes, isn't he? I don't know. You're the one that's supposed to check your equipment. I don't remember if he's wearing rubber shoes. I or believe not. that he's wearing rubber shoes. You know what? Hang on. Because uh, that option was five under level. Remember that. Five levels. All right. Five levels. Uh, let's check. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he is wearing rubber shoes. Perfect. So I can just use bolt three, and it won't affect Ramza at all. All right, so level five. Oh, by the way, it remembers your last one. What? It remembers where your last selection was. What are you, what are you talking about? The level five. It, just, it stays on the thing. Yeah, I just figured that out. Thank you. You're welcome. I did, I'm I glad did I could help. Before. It also hits the bar. He's going to have the rudest awakening. <laughs> yeah, this will kill the chocobo and then Ramza can just take care of the pig miss me cool and that's why you wear your rubber battle booties get you up in there come on petrify frog Da. Still a good one. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. They're definitely he's none of them are gonna get down there in time. Yeah. So at this point it's just kill the pig, that's it. Kill the pig! I've got one turn to kill that pig. You gotta say it like Gaston. Kill the pig! <laughs> kill the pig! <laughs> Nobody pulls pork like Gaston. <laughs> there you go. All right, pig. Your time is up. He's, he's confused and silenced. He doesn't know what's going on, and he can't even squeal. Oh, my God. You, you did 171 through defense. Jeez. Poor little guy. Yeah, he's a pig. No, I feel bad for him. I do like that little tone, though. It's a good little tune. For winning the battle. That was a close one. We were coming a little close to losing our thief. Nah. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Why are you so worried? I would save, though. I'm getting ready to. 
I just want to get all this stuff done <laughs> mm, first. Punched pork. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody punches pork like Gaston. Ho ho! That's right. Just do that. Bleh. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. It's <laughs> the way he says large. It's so good. <laughs> large. I was trying to talk about that I in, uh, in Baku's stream the other night. But then my brain just decided to have a brain fart. And I was like, no, I can't remember his name. Why? You couldn't remember Gaston? I couldn't the, remember his name. The original Giga Chad. <laughs> I couldn't remember his name. Eventually I did. But I needed a while for my brain to catch up and no longer fart on me. Yep. God, could you imagine eating four dozen eggs every morning? <laughs> to help you get large. Like, like how? Like, <laughs> one, his farts must have been deadly. <laughs> Just oh, yeah. because of the tiny amounts of sulfur that are in eggs. Mm -hmm. But could you imagine how much protein that guy was jacked up on? Like, <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I was about to say it. <laughs> I can't unhear it. Large. There you go. Now you can steal shields. Ooh, sweet. Yeah, that was the big thing. Yep. And I don't think we really need anything else here. No, I mean, if you wanted to go back to Dragoon, you could. Yeah, which, I mean, he's a lot stronger yeah. than Dragoon. Yeah, or you could start sending them toward Ninja. What would Ninja help him do? I forgot what we needed with Ninja, but it would allow him to dual wield. He wouldn't be able to dual wield lances. Would he? Uh, I think, actually. Yeah, because you can use a lance can? with a shield. You can use a lance with a shield. So yeah, his spears are one-handed. You kind of want to try it now, don't you? Dual wielding, dual wielding dragoon. That would make him really strong. <laughs> that would make him really strong. <laughs> That's why he's called Gaston. <laughs> well played, Nova. Well what did, played. What did he say? Uh, I was talking about Gaston's farts being deadly. And that's why he's like, that's why he's called Gas Space Ton. So it's like, <laughs> Gas Ton. Oh, he can't be a ninja yeah, yet. Yeah, what do you need for it? I don't know. What do you need for ninja uh, hit, again? Hit the select and it'll tell you. Uh, level 3 archer, level 4 thief, level 2 geomancer. He's probably missing the geomancer. Yeah, that's got to be what it is. Because yeah. I I, he, he he's he been an archer before, hasn't he? I think so. Yeah, because that's how he got thief. So, yeah, he probably needs Geomancer. Hang on, let me see. So, Oh, thief. no, he is a one level short of Archer. Oh, yeah, he does need to Archer a little bit. And then and Thief, is, thief is fine. Yeah, Thief is fine. So, but yeah, he, he, he needs... Still, okay, so he need one level of Geomancer and then one level in uh, Archer. Yeah, and then they can go Ninja. All right. So then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and knock out the Archer job first. Okay. That should be easy enough to do. Get that knocked out. Because I do love the yeah. idea of dual, of a dual wielding dragoon. Mm -hmm. You can actually dual wield crossbows in this game too, because crossbows are one handed. Let's. See. So okay, we have a mithril bow. That's actually not bad. Yeah. Um. So the question is: Is do you want him to have rubber battle booties? I think we do, because this is... Uh, it's three physical, so he's going to hurt. Yeah, he does deal a lot of like, damage. He has one more physical attack power than Ramza right now. Oh, wow, he does hit pretty hard. Well, that's because we took the bracer from Ramza, <laughs> so he'd have lightning immunity. That's right. Hmm. Yeah, the bracer... Okay, well, well, we'll let him have the bracer for now, because I do eventually want to give the bracer back to Ramza. Okay. When we go into the big story battles. Gotcha. Um, we'll give it to him for now so that he can hit pretty hard. Okay. You can also buy bracers, by the way. They're like 50,000 gil, though. Yeah, they're very expensive. Yep. There's probably a better helmet for him, honestly. Let's see. HP and MP. Yeah. Yeah, that's more for mages. Yeah. Uh, 
So I know there was a helmet that increased physical. It was like the twist headband. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, uh, too better physical. physical and also HP. Which it's lower HP, but eh, the physical defense makes right. Up but for he's it. an archer. He's why would he be a man? Exactly. He's supposed to be. A, he's supposed to keep distance. Yeah. And how he has 16 attack power. He has as much physical attack power as your mage has magic. Yeah. So he actually will hit pretty dang hard. Yeah. What abilities do they have? All right. So let's see. We can do. Yeah. <laughs> a jumping archer. Hell yeah. <laughs> You could change that to Thief if you wanted to, but the idea of a jumping archer is hilarious to me. <laughs> I'm pondering. I'm pondering if I want... Uh, you know what? Yeah, because of the lols, we're going to do a jumping archer. All right. Um, and then you could change Secret Hunt to... Uh, Gain JPF. Yeah. So that way he, you know, gets things yep. quicker. Oh, and then they have new ignore height, so they can jump any height. Yep. I mean, he's he's being built as a dragoon, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so he's all set. Do it, do it, my dude. And who else were we looking at? Uh, I mean, everybody else I think you were pretty much good with. Yeah, let's, let's stick with that for right now. Because I think it was mainly him that we had to look at. Yeah, because everybody else pretty much has like a defined role. Yeah, he's the he's the only one that's kind of an outlier. Yeah, like he doesn't have a specified role, but I think we're starting to kind of figure out what we Find would like a for niche. him. Like I think okay, this next one's a big battle, so I think we're probably gonna go back and do some grinding. What you scared? Well, yeah, we're we're leveling right now. No, oh, okay. So, no, I'm not ready to go for the big battle yet. But the big battle's going to be fun for everybody. I know, but we got to be ready for it. We're in, the, we're in the end game now. I hope you encounter Behemoths. Well, I'm glad that you are hoping for my demise. They're fair game now, by the way. I know. <laughs> and that, that, that does mean I'm, that I'm happy about it. But Behemoths are adorable. They are adorable. They're also deadly. Yep. I forgot what map it is, but there's one map on the on the like in the game, like one random battle tile that like you you get attacked by like only elder dragons and behemoths, and it is a nightmare. <laughs> like that is like the worst random battle in the game. Well, if we get that, um, Let's run. Yeah. Oh wait, you can't. Running's not an option. Oh, it's in this just game. some archers and chocobos, and uh, that bull thing, and that bull thing, and, and a bird. The bird. <laughs> <laughs> we got chocobos, we got archers, we got a bulldozer dude, and we got a bird. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. <clears throat> Great. They have the high ground. Eh, they don't need it. Oh, God, you can actually get up there and punch them. I'm going to punch this chocobo. Watch. It'll be great. I'm going to punch this chicken. Watch me punch this chicken. Bagok! It's dead. <laughs> that poor chocobo. Are you sure you need to be leveling? <laughs> Not him. <laughs> I, it's more the archer. Yeah, here you go. I'm going to give you chat. Because you gotta feed Boom. Yep, because I gotta go get Boomer. I gotta get Boom Boom. That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna go get Boom Boom. Well, that's my job. Yeah. So let me go get my Boom Boom. My job as a responsible pet owner is to own my pet. <laughs> Wait, by own her, do you mean that you're gonna, like, play her at a first person shooter, shooter and then she will always lose to you? Sure. Is, it, is that what we mean by you're gonna own her? <laughs> Dang it! This controller wasn't designed for me. <laughs> this is stupid. Why do they have to design controllers with thumbs in mind? <laughs> oh, that's your song. Yeah. Let's do it. 
and then we'll just stay back here and sing. If I can get the tablet. Ooh, he put on dark theme on the tablet. Yep, boom time's coming. I hope everybody's ready for boom time. Bibberty, 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 boom time. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Well, that was the bird. <laughs> I'm going to fly here. That's my turn. <laughs> I am going to do what birds do. Fly. Alright. It's time to math. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what we get. Uh, nobody on our end, but it hits a few people on their end, especially those archers that are trying to charge up shots. Well, that is excellent. Let's cancel out their charges with a mighty flare. They'll never know what hit them. This is going to hurt. No charge shots allowed. <laughs> Yeehaw. Alright. Let's go. He needs to attack someone. Alright. Well, I guess he's attacking an ally. <laughs> uh, how much damage will he do? Uh, well, he'll, he won't hit. Oh, he does 77 damage. <laughs> Ouchies. Um... Oh, right. He can jump. That is actually a legitimate strategy. <laughs> I forgot about that. What's the turn order? Uh, Erator goes here pretty soon, but then it's eight turns until the next person. So who's Erator? Is that the chocobo? That's the chocobo. All right. So as long as I don't jump on the chocobo, I'm going to hit before they move. So I could jump on this guy. Because he just had a turn. Let's go. Really? It missed everyone? Oh, he came down real quick. Ooh, job level up. That's what we wanted. So I think that's yeah, I think that's the archer level. So I think he I think he's all good on archer already. One jump. One jump man. They seriously only need like one thing. Yeah, I think he yeah, he did one jump and he leveled up. Job level. Wow. So his archer's already all set. Yep, so now he just needs a Geomancer level. Alright, Chocobo Pinhead. Your time is up, Pinhead! Oh god. Hi, Boom Boom! Oh god! I, okay, I hope the microphone's still good. How's the microphone sound? Because Boomer just came in like a truck. <laughs> really? I can't hit the. Oh, wait. Can I just. Okay, I just can't see it. Yes, I can hit the choke bow. But say, the choke bow's right next to me. That poor choke bow. Alright. <laughs> God, her panting is so loud. Her panting is so loud. Oh, you're going to turn on the webcam for her? There we go. 
<laughs> there y'all go. Y'all can see Boom Boom in the background. All right. Let's see. I shall move up here so that I may have a better area of which to get shots. <laughs> Fish slapper to chicken puncher. <laughs> yeah, I'll tag you. Yay, boom time! Yeah, wow. she's actually staying in frame too, which I'm. He got a job level and a character level from two actions. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that's what we needed to happen. Oh, hey. Look at that. Ooh. Math. Yeah. Yeah, so we can do it. Yeah, we can do a bolt three. Do and it. That'll probably kill. Yeah, that'll kill them. And our uh, bard will live. Oh, Boomer, you're supposed to be on camera. <laughs> I know you had the camera rolling. I decided to come over here because camera. Nah, my treat bowl rolled over here. Yeah. Well, that fight's already done. Yeah, geez, that was quick. Yeah, we already got what we needed out of Archer. <laughs> so now we got to swap him to Geomancer. Oh, she's starting to roll y'all's way again. Chat, keep your eyes peeled. You may see her a boomer in the wild. <laughs> a wild bro boomer approaches. Oh, nope, she rolled back over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me be on camera. I refuse. Hi, Boom Boom. How you doing, baby? Okay, I love you too. Goodbye. Yeah, I anyway, love you. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there she is. <laughs> Bloop. Yep. Alright, so now we need Geomancer. Where was Geomancer? There's there it is. Yeah. Alrighty. Boomer is now a Geomancer. God, that's like so Conan the Barbarian. It really is. Alright, so that's good, but the golden hairpin needs to be swapped. Yeah, why is it key oh, probably because it protects against like the silence. Well, that and also it gives the best HP. Yeah. That's the big that, thing. That, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, why does a hairpin give so much HP? Fuck if I know. Alright, so... Alright, there it is. So, uh, the total amount of XP we have is 184, and it needs 200. Yeah, so literally one smack. One smack, and we'll be able to get ninja. <laughs> Great. All right, jumping Geomancer, let's go. <laughs> Is Boomer having fun? Oh yeah, she loves this tree ball. Like it's her favorite toy. And the easy thing for me to remember is one full treat ball is is just her like meal. So I literally just top off the treat ball and that's a meal for her. <laughs> really? Yeah, it, it's like the exact amount. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So I just fill it up, let her go, and then she gets, you know, playtime and food. <laughs> All in one package. Yeah, and then I get entertainment because it's hilarious just seeing her <laughs> nuzzle it around. Honestly, that's really smart. Yeah, and it, it, it helps tire her out because, you know, she's chasing this thing around trying to get all the treats out of it. And luckily the kibble that we have, like... Uh, it's not like too hard so she doesn't get like discouraged so she'll just bat it around and just like send kibble everywhere uh i do have to be careful like i've swapped to vacuuming with the shock back because like every once in a while i'll just get kibble that'll just be like thunk <laughs> you know mm -hmm. she's starting to do it under your desk though oh yeah that, that's fine she'll she'll bite it and then get it out of there for a second yep see pick it up back up 
And away I go. <laughs> <laughs> See, we've learned a routine with this. <laughs> it's really smart. Yep. Spe like, especially when you're, like, you need you just need to distract her with something. Yep. Right, I'm going to have you sing cheer. Uh, another question. Why does a piece of heart give 100 HP in relics? I don't know. Don't know. All right, what do we got? Um, we got bams. We got more bams. And we got more bams. We got a flying eyeball and more bams. Oh, yeah, there's a flying eyeball. Yep. Hello, flying eyeball. One eyeball monster and then bams. Oh, wait. Nope, there's two flying eyeball monsters. I'm going to punch this guy. Why are you punching bams? Can you imagine that's, that's how you I'm actually doing. disarmed bombs? <laughs> Just punch them? Yeah. We need to cut the appropriate wire! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Like I wanna see that in an action movie. Yeah. Like the like the, the tense the tense uh moment of like we have to disarm this bomb and there's only a few seconds left. And then they just freaking punch the bomb <laughs> and it disarms. Oh, Boomer's back on cam. Alright. Well, wait, hang on. Man. This is such an overpowered mechanic for a wizard. I told ya. Now you know why Calculator is considered, like, the strongest class in the game. The only problem is that it's kind of random in a lot of its... Of, of, of its stuff. Yeah. Like oh, there this. you go. There you go. Hit yeah. everybody. Hit literally everyone. Yeah. Do it. You have lightning. You have rubber shoes. Well, that just hits all of your people. Well, I mean, hey, if you wanted to do haste. Honestly? Like, yeah, that, that's that's the way to do it. <laughs> so, haste your whole party. Yeah, no, the, it, it's all, like it's our entire party and none none of them on theirs. So we could totally use this to buff. Yeah. Yeah, let's haste. Cast frog and make it hard mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's a hundred percent too. Uh, so, yeah, it's a hundred percent. So everybody gets it. Hey. Yeah, hundred percent. Nice. So the whole party's hasted. Wow, look at the look at the dancer. Yep. <laughs> boink, 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 boink. Uh, you know what? Just wait here. You're good. Yeah, now our party is like real real fast oh yeah because <laughs> not only do we have haste but we also have the bard speeding us up ah yeah yeah you're gonna start getting turns like a madman <laughs> hello i'm all oh my god that damage do it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what the hell hopefully it doesn't get a turn <laughs> Oh. oh no! I really wanted that to land. Ooh. The look of fright. Oh no! It lowered your bravery by ten. Oh, I hope that's temporary. Uh, yes, the ten is temporary, but two of it's going to be permanent. So if I get two of those, it's permanent. Well, no. Every four points, it's raised or lower one point becomes permanent. That was a minus 10. So you lost two permanent points, but 10 temporary for this fight. <sighs> that sucks. Yep. That's why boosting your bravery with, like, Ramza's, like, squire ability and stuff are actually beneficial. I mean... You can always raise it up later. Yeah, I mean... But, you know, it adds to the grind time. Eh, I guess it's not super low. 
No, because they were like at 73, 74, something like that. Yeah, so I guess it just lowers it down to like 72, so okay, fine. Yeah, but you can always raise it if you want to. Yeah, this... That's one of the reasons I like having Ramza as a squire. Uh, it's because he learns, uh, I think it's like cheer up or something. He learns an ability that's a 100% uh, like bravery boost. Well, the eyeballs kind of became a priority for me. Yep. So I don't like that. God, that's slurping. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to have to go fill up her water because she's going to drink literally all of it. I wonder if it's picking up in the mic. <laughs> y'all hear that? Yeah, chat, can y'all hear Boomer drinking? Just out of curiosity. Oh, well, she's done now. <laughs> Hi, Boom Boom. <laughs> ah, Alright, um... I was trying to go for the eyeball, but... Don't hear her? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I balance the microphones appropriately. <laughs> her slurps are stupid loud. Yep. There's a reason why I balance the microphones the way I do. <laughs> uh, what can he do? Because he he's not within range to throw anything. Yeah. I don't think he can do anything yet. So I guess he's just going to wait. <laughs> Bless you. That's what you get for getting your treat ball stuck in dusty places. <laughs> Here, <give me> alone. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> All right, come here, Bull Bull. What is she doing? Come here, Bull Bull. How you doing, baby? Macaron. Come here, Bull Bull. Macaron! Macaron! Somebody had their ears clean, I can smell it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. So, yeah, for context chat, I'm six foot two. And if I can get her to stand up, she's like almost goes up to my shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, she's a big dog. She's a big dog. Yeah, she only stopped because she had none left. Oh, okay. Time for some bolt free action. There you go, perfect. Stream dog. Yep. Is she on is she on camera? I can't. I don't tell. know, but she's got a ball in her mouth. <laughs> there, now the eyeballs are the only threat. Jeez. You went nuts on everyone. Yeah, with permanent bravery decreases, I want to end this quick. Okay, so the eye, the eye in front of us is nine turns away. Ah. So I could totally jump on them. What's about to get holied? Uh, this eye. Oh. Is that going to kill the eye? It won't kill them, but it'll get dang near close. Oh, okay. So this will. Holy! Shazibi! Oh, wow. I thought that would do more. Yeah, it doesn't do as much as I would like. Honestly, like, if you want Holy to do a butt ton of damage, you have to make him a black mage. Yeah. I mean, Priest isn't meant to deal damage. Yeah. Boomer, what are you doing? <laughs> Does she just want your scritches? 
not what she's trying to do. She's trying to satisfy herself. <laughs> she's just laying there with a ball yep. in her mouth. Yep, she, she's the uh, streamer. We aren't streaming. It, it, this is the boomer stream. Yeah. Uh, she is a VTuber in reality. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she is a great ventriloquist. Uh, me and Addison are just puppets. Uh, <laughs> she operates us with her telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of weird ass head cannon do I keep coming up with? <laughs> uh, the boomer head cannon. Yeah. Right, that hits no one. That hits two of ours and none of theirs. Yeah. No. no. Right. I don't even know what we're looking for. I'm just trying to see if I can hit the eyes. Ah, gotcha. Oh, CT. Okay. Ooh. That'll get one, at least. Yeah, that'll definitely get one. Um, I would like to get the other one. Um, because the the one that this will hit is about to get jumped on. Mm-hmm. But Oh, hang on. I think one of Boomer's hairs has gotten my eye. Uh-oh. There you go. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Ah, yeah. Wonderful. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Eventually, math will prevail. <laughs> yep, you just have to look for it. Well, Flare. God, she's so fluffy right now. She needs a haircut bad. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Oh, yep, here's cat mode. <laughs> and our, uh... Our, uh... So, yeah, she's just rubbing against the walls. <laughs> and then she'll come over. Now the couch. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole couch vibrates. <laughs> she just rubs herself against it. Hi, baby. How you doing? I really want your scratches. I love you too, Boom Boom. Thank you for the kisses. <laughs> God, I hope that caught on mic. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> so romantic, Boomer. You're a dignified lady, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, ever like about ever since we got this couch, she's been doing this to the couch, oh my God. and she just rubs herself against the back, like she's a giant cat, a giant 100-pound cat. <laughs> this couch is new, and it doesn't have my smell on it. Pretty much. <laughs> Boomer, what are you doing? Meow. <laughs> there she goes again. <laughs> and flop. Yay! Is she on the camera? Yep. All yeah, right. I think she's like centered too. Oh, nice, perfect. There you go, everybody. Yep, she's got her her scritches, her routine, her food, so she's gonna plop out for a bit. There you go. There's your streamer right there. This battle is literally just bomb chicken. Yep. yep. Bomb chicken. I miss that game. That was a fun game. It was. It, it's so weird to think that. The only way to jump is to literally poop out bomb. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole game. Yeah. Out bombs. That's why it's called bomb chicken. Are you pecking my black mage, good sir? Yep. 
Wow, they got in close. Well, I am going to go up here and punch your ball. Uh-oh. It's ball time. Playtime! <laughs> Good catch. You want me to throw it, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Please throw. No take. Only throw. <laughs> 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 she's such a big goof. Yeah, but she's a my adorable big goof. Yep. I'm just glad we've actually gotten her to the point where she'll like she'll calm down for the night because she's been sleeping inside. Because mm -hmm. uh, for the longest time, like she was so riled up and wired because of her like Pyrenees tendencies, and Pyrenees are actually naturally nocturnal, to where they want to be up all night like guarding the flock. Yeah. Against like predators, so. She would stay up all night and just guard, like, the backyard. And then sleep a lot of the day. Yeah. But, like, that wasn't really working with our schedule because, like, her meal times were off and everything. So it, it took a while, but eventually she acclimated to her. Now uh, she's staying inside and she'll, like, sleep half the night and then wake up, like, early in the morning. So we'll wake up at, like... 7.30 or so and then we'll we'll do her morning like food and water and uh, medication and then we'll put her outside and then she'll start guarding in the morning hmm. so it's like you know almost like sun up sometimes or sometimes it's even before sun up depending on the time of year. I mean on, on the on the flip side she makes sure that y'all get out of bed oh yeah no I, I regularly have to get up at like 7.30 every day because of her which it's not bad keeping me on a routine. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, honestly, I, I I need a way to get myself on a better routine. No, yeah, be dogs are a hell of a good way to do that. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, like for me, uh, Evie, she'll just like, in the morning at around 9.30 to 10 o'clock, she'll just hop up on the bed and just sit there next to me and look at me. Yep. Just like, what are you doing in bed? It's morning. You got to get up. Wake up. It's time for adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't lick me or jump on me or anything. She just kind of sits there and eventually, eventually, if I don't get out of bed, she just gives up and lays next to me and cuddles. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, if you're going to lay here, then I will too. <laughs> now that I think about it, can we teach Luna holy? We'd have to do white mage. Yeah, but considering you've had a white mage for so long, they may be close, depending on how much banked experience they have. So I think Holy was, what, 800? Yeah, it was 800. Honestly, though, that's not a bad question. Yeah. Oh, I should have moved the black mage. Damn it. Why? Because I need the geomancer to punch the chocobo. Oh. Um, can that's can you jump? Yeah, I can. Uh, you, um, you can also just deck your bard in the face. Okay, the, the Chocobo is low on CT. So their turn is either six or eight. So it's six. Okay. So... I think you'd be able to jump on them. Just don't kill them with anybody else. Yeah, I don't want to deck someone else in the face because this Geomancer does a ton of damage. Deck them in the face! <laughs> yeah, look at that damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't want to do friendly and fire. Geomancer Lancers. Geo Lancer. I mean, that's That what we're, sounds cool. We're, we're, we're going with dual Lancer. I know, but Geo Lancer just sounds good. Yeah. You know? Perfect. Yes! All right, cool. That's what we wanted. And now we have Ninja. What? But I thought everything. Oh, no, there's a bomb. Okay. Wait, is there a bomb left? Yeah, there's a bomb down there. Oh, there is a bomb. Okay, I didn't even yeah, I see thought, it. Yeah, I thought you would won the battle. Yeah, I thought that was it. All right, that's fine. We got what we wanted. So yep. we just got to kill the bomb and then we're done. And move you and just keep singing. So yeah, we fed her at like 7.45 to 8. 
Okay. So, give her like another 15 minutes and then... Alright. Um... Okay, that's about as close to the bottom as I can get. Um, can I just cast a spell from this range or no? No, I didn't think so. So in order for me to hit it, I got a math. Alright, so that won't hit. That won't hit. Oops. That won't hit. I need a minute. Need a minute? Yeah, I'm trying to find a math that hits this bomb. Ah. Uh, probably height would be the easiest one. I'm trying height right now. Let's try prime number. There you hey, go. There all you right. go. Yeah, so just... Uh, Destroy us all! Let me try another one. Nope. Uh, nope. Because, like, the problem is the Black Mage doesn't have rubber boots on. Yeah, but once the battle ends, you're going to win. I know, but... <laughs> Destroy us all. All right. Yes. At least Ramza will live. Yeah, Ramza will. It's... The Black Mage gets hit. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> My main goal is to blow myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what clip I heard that from, but I freaking love it. I just know that on our past Let's Plays, you and Wade said that a lot. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it's great. Especially Wade. Yeah, he to loves blow that yourself clip. up. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like, the, like, he's got a lot of quotes. Like, that's one of them. Another one is... Yep. <laughs> God, I miss that bastard. I need to. I need to reach out to him and see what the hell he's up to. <laughs> you should just contact him. He just picks up the phone. He's like, "Hello," and you're just like, "Hey, you bastard! What the <laughs> hell are you up to?" Yep. <laughs> I'd probably do that too. <laughs> he would probably love it. <laughs> probably get a kick out of it. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. You want me to throw your ball? Okay. Yeah. Also, surprisingly, Black Mage only has like 400 White Mage points. Really? Yeah. You must have bought some stuff at some point then. Alright, so... Change job. I'm sure chat doesn't mind. You want me to have your ball? Chat doesn't mind what? Uh... Whenever I was taking my two weeks off. Uh, yes, thank you, Boomer, for the slobber. There you go. Whenever I was taking my two weeks off, uh, stream time essentially became Boomer playtime. And so now that's pretty much what streams are going to be, especially on Saturdays. It's just going to be Boomer playtime. <laughs> yeah, because that's what she's gotten used to. Yeah. He's like, guys, it's, it's that time. It's time for play. But if she is being horribly disruptive, we we can I can figure something out. But honestly, I feel like most people just get a kick out of her hijinks. Oh yeah. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'll set up Boomer Cam. Why not? All right. So twist headband, a whip, and a knife. <laughs> that is an interesting combination of yes, flail and a knife. And uh, with the bracer. Do you want to give them electric battle booties? Actually, that's a good question. Uh, I'm going to pass on that for right now. Because the, bra the bracer gives a lot of attack. Yep. Um, because at this point, I want Boomer to have their role in the party. And right now, it's just more damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, they already got a lot of ninja points, too. Yeah, because of the other ninjas we raised. Yep. All right, so the main thing was two swords. Yep. So we need to get more JP for that. Yep. 
which we'll get there eventually. So I, but I think mm, he'll do all right as yeah, is. Yeah, I, I think he'll be fine. In the in the bigger battles. Yeah, so I think we could go ahead and do the. the... Yeah, I think it's probably fine. So let's go ahead and check out where everyone else is at with their abilities first. So we got. Yeah, you might be able to learn something. Ooh, Ooh sacred uh, fist. Causes death gradually, striking vital points. Yeah, so it gives uh, doom essentially, so they like have a timer before they just die. Yep. Um, if I remember correctly, wave fist I think is a ranged attack. Um. Attack yeah. from afar, emitting battle spirits. So yeah, it's a it's a punch, but at a distance. Okay, so it's a three distance. Honestly, that's not bad. He could use a little bit of range. Yep. Um, so we could do that. Uh, we could get move HP up, but that hasn't really been too much of a problem. Nah, I'd probably do wave fist so he has yeah, a range that's attack. what I'm thinking. So we'll do that. And... Oh my god, he has 900 wizard points. He does? Yeah. Oh my god, he does. <laughs> he could learn flare if he wanted to. <laughs> he could totally... Hold on. <laughs> um... Counter magic could be hilarious, though, but you already have uh, Yeah, like, what grasp. would he use that for? Uh, memes. He doesn't even use any magic. It doesn't matter. Whenever you, uh, you get hit with a spell, you just counter it with the same spell. So you cast the spell back at them. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's how counter magic works, is, like, you get, whenever a magic attack, like, hits you, you counter with the same magic. That is hilarious. Yeah. And honestly, hold on. Well, his magic's not even that high. Oh, yeah. No, it, it wouldn't be effective. It would just be hilarious. We have to replace something for it, though. It would replace Blade Grasp, exactly. which isn't worth it. No, it's not. But that's why I'm but just that's like, still funny. It, it would be there purely for the meme. <laughs> All right. I mean, there's not really anything in here that he can use. No, nah, but I mean, if you want to know Flair just for shits and giggles, you you have access to it. <laughs> I know Flair. Why? <laughs> because meme. Yep. I mean, you can just hold on to the points, too. You, you know want. what? I'm going to go ahead and teach him counter magic. All right. Because you know what? There might be an instance where that might be useful. You never know. Okay. We might, we might look back at this and go, wait a minute, we totally did that. That would work here. Yeah. You know? I can already think of a couple fights. So honestly, like, I, out of all the wizard abilities, for him, is that's the most useful. Yeah. And he's already mastered chemist, and let's yeah, see what we can do with get more, Getting all the side stuff with I mean, bar. he's already got all the songs. Yep. Which, uh, move plus three would be really good. Fly might be decent, and then face up might be decent. Yeah, so just keep saving. Yep. Black Merge. Not really much you can learn there. Not much you can learn there. And not really much Priest can do yet. And Dancer has all the dance and the to save. All right. All right. So, I mean, at this point, we're just trying to raise up our uh, boomer over here. But I think we're finally starting to find a place for boomer in the party. Because boomer was... They're the one who's been the outlier. Oh, well, we got random battles. All right. I hope everybody's ready for some random encounters. Yay! I love randoms. I certainly hope that you do. Also, um, despite me getting uh, really upset at Stardew <laughs> last night. This is just Foxy just came in and was like, Boomer! <laughs> yeah, Boomer! <laughs> Uh, I, I've been, uh, I was playing it earlier this afternoon, and I'm, I'm starting to like it again. Oh, yeah, after the, the whole like, seed debacle. I, I, th I think what it is, is 
I just kind of came to accept that I can't play the game at like in a way that I just kind of figure everything out myself and I just opened up the damn wiki there you go <laughs> and I've been having a lot more fun with it I can understand that <laughs> there's so much like crap in that game that I get it also is that a black bomb is that a black bomb that's a black bomb that's a, what was that in the back that's a tier three bomb no, no, the, the, not the bomb. There was something else. What was that? Uh, I think it was one of those birds, but like the higher level birds. Okay, yeah. it was a black chocobo. Yeah. It looked like something really scary from behind the thing. Yeah, it kind of did. And then you've got the higher level bird thing. So yeah, you've got all three tiers of bomb in this fight. You got the red bomb, the blue bombs, and then the black bomb. What's that over there? Oh, it's just a bird. Yeah, that's the, the higher tier bird. I think that's the tier three bird. No, I'm just a bird. Bird up. <laughs> I still think about that shit. I mean, funny thing is I actually have uh, on my computer, because at one point he actually posted on his Twitter uh, the resources for that. Really? He did, and I downloaded them. Did so he say I like? Did he say like people are free to me? He said he said people are free to use it to their heart's content. The only thing he asks for is you credit them. Hell yeah! All uh, as long as you credit him, he does not care. I will totally do that. <laughs> so if you want, I can look for it on my computer. And yes. Send it to you. <laughs> Even if it's just the sound effect file, so we can make it something people could redeem. <laughs> Burn up! Dun dun dun! <laughs> Uh, I just realized my headphones are still connected to my computer. Good for you, Foxy. Let's do a jump. Which, honestly, if you really think about it, jump is appropriate for Ninja. Oh, yeah, no, it actually works out quite well. Um, I also know Thief Ninja works out really well, because if I remember correctly, your steal chances are related to your speed stat. Mm hmm. Alright, so Gigas is the last one who's going to move. Ah, so you heard nothing. Well, uh, we uh, we did one of those Tokyo treat boxes today, so that's why we had the face the camera up. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just turn this into Boomer Cam. Oh wow, that's Gigas because all the way over there. She has like that one general spot that she likes to hang out in, so I figured, why not? We'll just have that up in the corner because there's there's enough visual real estate on this game to where y'all can see what Boomer's doing. Okay, well, definitely not them. Um, so, Pitoti and Toros, or whatever. My potato. Uh, okay. Can I reach the black chip? I think I can. Yes, I can. Perfect. Yeah, I should be able to. Oh, wow, that. that would kill it, too. Yeah, that would kill it. it. Hits. All right, let's go. Whee! Do a steel it should. It should hit, because it's 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 going to take nine turns. For Hi, guys! Hit. I'm going to eat your black mage. <laughs> War? Don't eat my black mage. She's yeah, not, she's... and she left. Yeah, no, she comes in and out. Oh, boomer. Yeah. All right, well, this bird's dead. <laughs> the bird decided to come up and face Ramza head on, and Ramza is like, <laughs> you uh, made a terrible mistake there. Yeah, she's probably sniffing around the kitchen because she's just like, oh, I see you cooked dinner. It smells good in here. And then she'll realize that all the food's been put up, and then she'll come back. Dang it. Hey, where's the food at? Could you tell me? I'd like to get some food, please. You can tell, like, I've I've been through this, like, routine before. <laughs> Just the way that I'm describing it. <laughs> I mean, when you have a pet, you always know their routine, yep. right? Yeah, there's just this little song and dance that we do every night that's just kind of like, yep, yeah, she's going to do this, and then this, and then this. So because I, I already because I already know what's going to happen when I get home. When I get home, I'm going to walk through the house, and then I'm going to walk up to... Uh, my bedroom and Evie's gonna be laying there waiting for me. Yep. She does that every time. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, I'm gonna have to walk Boomer after the stream now that I think about it. Like that's the cute thing that she does. She'll just she'll lay there in front of the bedroom door and she'll see me come up. She's like, Yay! He's finally home. Mm-hmm. And then she wants playtime. What the hell is Boomer doing? Uh, so behind the table, there's blinds that like look. Oh, out. that's the blinds. Yeah. That I'm so hearing. she's she okay. was just looking out the window, and now she's back. Hi, Boom Boom. Is that just the stream now? 
Just yeah, boomer. Pretty much. <laughs> video games are video games are just the bonus. I mean, you're grinding right now. Yeah, the vi video games are like the video games are just kind of like eh, it's a little thing that we do on the streams. But no, y'all clearly come here for boomer. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I know what chat wants. Everybody wants, everybody wants content pets. Boomer, what do you <laughs> throw, please? <laughs> throw, please. Throw, 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 <laughs> throw it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I told you, stream time has become like boomer playtime. Yeah, unintentionally. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and that's the thing is because she's such a big ass dog she wears out super quick <laughs> yeah it's like two throws and she's just like okay i'm good <laughs> <laughs> then after a few minutes she's like all right throw again please <laughs> yep boomer cam with some tactics thrown in exactly Jeez. Brr. Oh my god, 584. Yeah, what was that about the black bomb being a threat? Uh, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I, I didn't say it was a threat. I just said it was, oh, that's a tier 3 bomb. <laughs> the ninja didn't get to land his head. <laughs> yeah. But if I remember correctly, if the black bomb self-destructs, like, it does, like, 300, 350 damage. That is a lot of damage. Yeah. doop a doop a -doo. Anything you can do from a distance other than jump? No. Nope. All right, well. Time to jump. All right, well, I need this attack to land. I really need this attack to land. Yep. Why? Because I'm trying to gain experience on the ninja. Well, then stop doing stuff with everybody else. How did you poison fire? I, fuck if I know. <laughs> oh. Ah, damn it, he's gonna oh, move. Oh, it's gonna be one turn too late. Darn. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hold this fight out until the ninja can land a hit. Yeah, well I mean he'll be able to land and then move after yeah, the next turn. Because the ninja's the main thing I'm trying to level here. Yeah. So. Yep. yep. <laughs> Run away! Yeah, Rams is coming up here. And then he's just going to sit here and wait, because I need the ninja to hit. I'm not a huge fan of, like, Rams's like, final outfit in the game. Like, the the black shirt with the, the teal, like, arms and legs. That is a little weird. I kind of like his second outfit better. <laughs> I, th I think I'm the same way. I think I like his second outfit the most. Yeah. His first outfit is iconic, and I get that, but there's something off about his first outfit to me. Well, it's when he was, like, a cadet. Yeah. It's where, like, the, the second outfit is, like, whenever he goes through the 80s and he, like, grows into his own, you know? And he has, like, that nice, like, jacket mm -hmm. kind of look with, like, the pop collar. Mm. It's gonna heal it because it's a flame whip. <laughs> <laughs> huh. hmm. Well, I mean, your knife will hurt it on the second hit, but, you know. Well, it's, it's, it's jump then. Um, All right, fine. So it has lower it has lower AT than last time, so you might get it this time. I hope so. Yeah, because jump is the only thing that... I believe... Hurt. In the power of jump. <laughs> Maybe you'll get sleep. I hope so, honestly. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on. What's the turn order? Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, that'll kill it. All right. We're yeah, good. That's the advantage of jumping with, like, a high-speed ninja. Yeah, we just got to keep waiting, and then the ninja will hit and land. Yep. Yeah. And one more. And... Woo! There we go. You want one more ball throw, Boom Boom? <laughs> I got some energy back. Time for another ball throw. 
boom, 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 boom. We're getting a lot of money, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. No, chapter four, you start getting oodles and oodles of, of money. Of Moonay. Moonay. Lovely, lovely Moonay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, so no random battles there. It is time to continue the adventure. Monk, Monk Grog Hill. That sounds like a great name for a fantasy place. <laughs> Monk Grog Hill. That, like, that sounds like a tavern. Yeah, I can see that. Or like a city. Monk, <laughs> let's go to the Monk Grog Hill. Yeah, I can see it. Really? He's really close to the next level, too. Look at that. Yep. But it's mainly the JP we want anyway, so. Yep. The Finath River. Castle. All right. We got plot. Pay attention. Boomer, pay attention to the plot. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like how she just went quiet when I said that. Yep. I'm paying attention. She's hiding. She's shy. She's behind the couch right now. <laughs> oh no, plot. I'm scared. What's gonna happen <laughs> next? I don't wanna know. Is he praying? Yep. A heretic coming to church. Pretty bold. I have no time. So I'll ask you straight out. Why did the high priest send you to Galtana? You came to Zeltenia to ask me that? Fine, I'll tell you. My duty is to assassinate Galtana and Orlandu. What? Shh, lower your voice. This is the real plan. We're trying to incite those dissatisfied with the government to revolt thereby causing people to distrust the government even more. Both armies will try to put down the revolt, but won't have enough soldiers. Then what? They'll finish things trying to break the deadlock. All these recent revolts were the high priest's plan. And to stop these, both armies are heading to Bethla. Everything is as you planned. Yeah, you remember where Bethla is? Uh, no. For Teta died. Oh, that's the place. And oh, so, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, yeah, uh, a place of significance for him. Yeah. If I remember correctly. I might be misremembering that, though. During the battle, Lug and Gultana will both be killed by someone. Of course, the leaders will also be killed. Nanten Zorlandu, Hokuten Zalbag, and Dice Dug. Losing their leaders, both armies will stop fighting and turn to peace. Then the church will become the mediator. And the people will support the church entirely. They even threw in the Zodiac Brave legend. But the Zodiac Stone. Right now, you're the church's biggest obstacle. Aren't you trying to get the stones also? I'm not working for the church. What do you mean? It means I'll kill you if I have to. Don't worry. Our reasons may be different, but we want the same thing. As long as we want the same thing, we won't be enemies. Come with me. Sorry, I can't. She needs me. She? Prince or princess. Doesn't matter as long as they are easily controlled. The High Priest's plan calls for a puppet government. You're just using Ovilia for your own ambitions. I don't know, but... But what? I would give my life for her. 
Oh, he fell for the princess. <laughs> Is that strange? No, I believe you. He found love. <laughs> love. Oh, oh, somebody has a gun. Ramza! The church is surrounded. Come out quietly. We have shooty bang bangs. That voice. It's Zalmo. Oh, yeah. The head heretic dude. The portly one, if I remember correctly. He was the one that attacked you and your sister? In that case, that voice was appropriate. Yep. <laughs> The plot is where she's sniffing. Yeah. <laughs> ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Bard. Let's do it. If only it was a 3x3 three three square of places you could put, you could have made a flying V formation with your people. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. We are the V team. And she just grooming herself back there. Yeah, there he is. You're the Black Knight. Hyrule. Um, what? Yeah, you're the Black Knight. Hyrule. That's their name. <laughs> Hyrule. Why are you here? Now that you've seen me, I cannot let you live. Come on, Ramza. They're unknowingly part of the High Priest plot. If you explain it well, they'd understand. Are you still so naive? Well, good luck. <laughs> good luck. So is he guesting with us? Yep. Alright. You want to know the awesome thing you can do in this fight? What? Uh, one of your characters has ignore height. <laughs> you can literally jump all the way up there with Boomer. Oh, I could? Yeah. Like, go to move. No, no, no. Oh, move. Yeah, go to move. And then go up. You can literally get right next to him. <laughs> well. Yeah, hey, yep. And we. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hi. You're the main bad guy, right? Now you can just attack him. Bonk. Aw. There you go. Ugh. Oh no, you pushed me off. What will I do? Yeah, I think it was defeat Zalmo. Was that the objective? Yeah. But yeah, they're the only character that has ignore height, so... He's the only one that could get up there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Because I have uh, Wave Fist now, too. Oh. Yeah, it's only three tiles. I don't even think that'll reach. Yeah. What you said. Fudgesicles. Anything else you wish to share with the class? No, that's about it. <laughs> I think I've shared everything I wanted to share. Okay. Who wants debuffs? I do. <laughs> Go over here. <laughs> do, 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 do. And get uh, some uh, buffs going too. Okay. Yeah, I would keep him closer to your front line though, because you might need some resurrecting and healing. You really think so? Uh, well, it depends on how good your calculations are. We'll see. Do you know what you're doing? He's a top criminal. Anyone who helps him is guilty too. You, leader of the Black Knights, dare oppose the trial examiners? I know who you are. 
That's why I must kill you all. What you audacious fool! Your actions will disrupt the world order and oppose God's natural providence. Hmm, providence. Are you trying to rebel against God? Hmm? Disrupt the order. This order you talk about is just a matter of your own convenience. Using God as an order to control the people is absurd. You have no right to take advantage of the innocent. Oh, oh, oh. Then I'm just gonna run over here then. <laughs> uh oh. B buffs incoming. Probably blind, knowing oracles. They love casting blind. Oh. Ooh, that one does damage. Whatever that is. It's only a 28% chance, though, so. No. No breaking allowed. And that's why I love break blade grass, because it prevents against breaking shit. Why are they all running? Get back here and find me like a man! <laughs> I want math. And I want it now. I hereby demand math. Honestly, height is user. Ooh, oh, hello. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, ah. Yeah, that, uh, I think we found a winner. Yeah, uh, we found the winner. Uh, you should cast frog. I'm casting flare. What are you talking That's about? That's no fun. But flare! Fine. Frog's funnier, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of nuking everyone into oblivion if it's no fun? Boom. Because I like nuking everyone. Jeez. Nuking is fun. Oh, wait, he guarded? He guarded against flare? How do you guard against flare? What? This flare's not elemental. Oh, he must have just magic evasion stuff. I don't care about God. I just want you to see the truth. Truth? Are you saying this is not the truth? You had a chance to clear the charges in the Cardinal Murder, Zodiac Stone Robbery. But you blew it by running away. That proved your guilt. We've already decided you're guilty and sentenced you. It's too late to say anything about it. I just blew up half your squad. Then I guess I must fight. Black Mage, nuke, please. <laughs> yeah. Like, legit. You, like, you already decimated, like, over half of his team. And he's still all uppity. Like, nah, we're going to win. Oh, you could totally jump up there. And then, yeah, next turn you could continue up. The person who's up there is him. Yep. So yeah, jumping up on that like higher ledge or going over there and dealing with the knights. Yeah, I was thinking of going over and dealing with the knights. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, holy hell, clearly they have the blood of Bahamut. Yeah. <laughs> I always loved that Bahamut in the first game. Like, Bahamut's been in the very first game of Final Fantasy. Right. I mean, that makes sense to me. Yeah, and his entire role was just to, uh... Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> all he does is upgrade your classes. That's all he does? Yeah, that's all he does is he upgrades your class from their base class to their advanced class. And you want to know the best thing about what you have to give him? What? It's like an item you wouldn't think would be, like something you would give that would be important I'll give you a guess what random item it is that you need to give Bahamut uh, is it a tier 1 potion nope is it a gashel green nope chocobos weren't invented yet <laughs> oh that's right um, is it a phoenix down nope it's a random meme item that pops up in a lot of Final Fantasies. Random meme. Item. It's like a key item, but never really has a use.
It does make an appearance in 9 as well. And they make fun of the people of Bermissia about it. Is it a bell? Nope. I give up. I don't know. <laughs> Food? <laughs> yeah, I, I... It's a rat tail. A rat tail? Yeah, it's a rat tail. The rat tail is a recurring item in Final Fantasy, and in the first game, you you get a rat tail, and you're just like, what the hell is this for? And then whenever you encounter Bahamut, he's just like, oh, give me that, and that's proof of your, of your worthiness to advance to the next stage. So oh. you give Bahamut a, a rat tail. Okay, Bahamut. Whatever you say. And then he's like, okay, I'll let you upgrade your classes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, whatever you say, Bahamut. So, Thanks. yeah. The rat, the rat tail actually appears as, like, a super rare item. <laughs> because if you think about it, have you ever actually fought rats in Final Fantasy? I mean, not... I mean, not... I, yeah. If, if you think of every sewer level, there's no rats. I you mention it, yeah. Yeah, it's all full of, like, slimes and sahagans and other things like that. So it's just, like, rats are actually extremely rare. <laughs> so the rat tail is a rare item. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. That won't kill that guy, though. What do you mean? That guy there, He's he, he guarded against Flair, remember? Oh, well... I could use Bolt 3, but if he defended against Flare... Well, you don't have to kill him. You have to kill Zamo. That's true. And the Flare hits him. Yep. So I don't even care. But whoever that guy is, he's a Giga Chad. Oh, hit him that time. So yeah, it was just magic evasion. Huh. Well, I just nuked the entire thing. Yep. Haha, <laughs> give Brat Tail, I give you oh classes. Oh god, please punish the wicked. FF14 Bahamut. I am a reborn god and I will destroy the world. They created a moon to contain me. I mean, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, an angel Ooh. ring. Oh, wait, wait, we already established that's not that good. Never mind. I retract that. But it's called an angel ring. Yeah, it's but it, gotta be good. Remember, it just gives you re-raise once. Oh right. Yeah, we bought one. I remember. What are you going to do, Ramza? I had two reasons to come to Zeltenia. One was to see you. The other is to see Count Orlando. Thunder God Sid. I want his cooperation to uncover the church's plot. How? I have strong proof that will uncover the wrongdoing. The demonic scriptures. When I met Olan, the Count's son-in-law, he promised me if I had proof, he would stop the High Priest's conspiracy. Olan, huh? Who are you? It's okay. She's one of us. Several people were sent from Muran to help me. She's one of them. Ooh, magician woman. <laughs> help? More like keep an eye on you. Hey, come on. She knows everything. She's the only one we can trust in the Goltana army. You're the youngest build. Rums, all right? My name is Balmafula. Nice to meet you. That's a mouthful. I'm going to just call you Balma. Yeah. And what do you want? The Hakuten are moving. Is Fort Bethel the target? Count Orlando left for Bethel a while ago. Goltana's heading for Bethel, along with your black sheep knights. A little too late. The battle won't end. I'm not giving up. I'll persuade the Count before any more die. I guess it's goodbye, Ramza. Stay alive, Delita. 
you do. Oh, they do care for each other. Yep. They are total opposites, though. Like, he has dark hair. You have light hair. He's golden red. You're blue and black. Like, yep. y'all are totally, like, diatribe to be opposites. Mm -hmm. You're letting him go. I know what he'll do. You even use your friends. Hey, shut up. What do you know? I hate people like you. Hurry up and go. I don't need you to like me. I just need you to work for me. I got a mission. <laughs> it's pretty much what he's doing. He's yeah. literally pushing everybody aside because he has an objective to achieve. All right. Wow, we look at all our money. Yep. That's a lot of money. <laughs> We're at a castle. We could see if they have stuff. Yep. Or we could do fancy things. We could do fancy things. What fancy things would you have in mind? Uh, like get extra characters and stuff. But I like the characters that we have. But extra characters. But I like the characters that we have. I know, but content. <laughs> we need content and we need it now yeah don't you want to do some fun stuff that's involved in the stories oh you're talking about those other characters yeah like cloud and stuff yeah let's see oh we could we could dual wield morning stars hell yeah <laughs> do it <laughs> I mean, it's stronger than the Flame Whip. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Morning Star. Dual wield Morning oh Stars. They're, they're going to hit like a freaking truck. Uh, that's Malak. We don't use him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care about Malak. No. That's everyone. Yep. <laughs> I would like two flails, please. <laughs> Why do you need two? Most people just buy one. And then they go about that day. Alright. So now we need to go over here. Or do you want to do extra stuff? You want to get the other characters? I mean, we can get some of them now. We've got an hour left in the stream. Alright, where do we go? Uh, if I remember correctly, your first stop is Goland. Do we have Goland? Goland. Uh, if you hit, uh, triangle, and then go to move, you can look through a list. There, Goland. Oh. Yeah. And then you'll auto-walk there. Fuck! get in a battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We have a black mage that can nuke everything. You know? Yeah. I mean, why is there any reason to worry? When you can nuke. Fair. Dog bard. <laughs> I love it. Dog bard. Dog bard. Dog bard. Dog bard. No, I saw a tail for a second. <laughs> Boomer, what are you doing? Boom boom. Boom boom, come here, baby. I'm coming. How you doing, baby? Yeah, hello, oh, Papa. I love you too, boom boom. That's a good girl. That's a good boom boom. I love you, Papa. I love you too, boom boom. <laughs> You're a big fluffy baby. Who's a big fluffy baby? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. want more pets. More pets for Fluffy Baby. I demand more pets, please. Night, you good girl.
<laughs> she makes so many noises. <laughs> All right, what's the torn order? Tur tur torn order. Torn. Like. Torn. <laughs> uh, like that. Yeah, it's Boomer and then everyone else. <laughs> Are these two... Oh! That's a behemoth! Wait, the that... pink thing! That's a behemoth! Oh, that's a behemoth? Yeah! Oh, that is a behemoth. Yeah, we got a behemoth! Oh, boy. He gonna wreck your shit. Nah, I'll just nuke him. I don't know why he's pink. I'll nuke him. It's fine. All I gotta do is nuke him, and then everyone will be happy. Whee! Yeehaw. Man, that's a lot of monsters on this map. <laughs> he just stood <laughs> on top of the behemoth. <laughs> I like that the behemoth just did yeah, not just, care. Just does not give a damn. Like, honestly, if you think about the size of a behemoth compared to a chocobo, he wouldn't care. Okay. Nothing. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Oh, well, that'll hit a bunch of your people. Not what we want. That'll hit a bunch of your people. Not what we want. Mm, oh, you get one chicken. Oh, and a cat. And no, two chickens and a cat. You get two chickens? Yeah, you get two chickens. And a cat. <laughs> Can you deal with bargains that good? <laughs> Two chickens and a whole cat. <laughs> Nuke. That poor chicken. Got Kentucky fried. Nope, nope, you get two whole cats. Look at that. <laughs> I just nuked half the battlefield. Yeah, you're pretty much G.I. Joeing this whole thing. Yeah, I'm just, just going to stay over here. Yeah, who needs to approach when you have math? <laughs> <laughs> Nameless dance. Bella, Bella, ba, ba, Wait, no, no, no. no, no, no. No, 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 no. What are you looking for? That raises physical attack power. Uh, cheer song was the speed one, if that's what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah, let's do cheer song. That's a good one. Prixos. Oh, he got to move before the jump came down. Damn. Yeah, they have a tendency to do that. War? That was nine turns, too. Jeez. It is not a matter of turns. It is a matter of CT and speed, my lord. Yay, behemoth! Doop -ba -doop. What was it going to do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> God, I want to see him do something, though. I really want to. It's okay. I don't think he's the dangerous behemoth yet, though. Like he's he's the like the wee babu like behemoth. Bye. Like, how much of a badass do you have to be to be able to run up and punch a bird? Cheers, on. Um, I mean, you are a badass like Ramza apparently because he just fucking did it, and he not only did it. He, uh, he he had the plans to punch it twice, but it only took one punch because he's one punch man. Wabba! <laughs> I mean, he basically is with the bracer accessory. Yeah. Does he even have the bracer right now? Not right now, but when he has the bracer accessory, he deals something ridiculous like 600 per punch. Yeah, some insane, absurd number. Oh, you could run up and bird. He can run up and bird. That's a high CT. So he no, no jump. Just run up and bird. Just bird the bird. Yeah, just run up and bird. Why do you have to think about birding the bird? Bird. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> really? 
Really? <laughs> he critted out of the way the really? second he missed. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. That's that great. was the downside of flails, is they actually have a damage range. I just remembered about that. Well, what do you what do you mean? So you only did forty eight with a crit. Flails have a damage range, which means they randomly roll how much damage they do. <laughs> well, I wish I would have known so that. So the the number you see is the average. Okay, but did you remember to feed Fat Chogbo? Yes, we did. Thank you, Bub, for the five hundred bits. Thank you. Thank you, good girl, boom boom. Need you, good girl. All right, I'm gonna give you chat for a second. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope chat is okay with me mathing. Alright. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Yay, daddy's up on the seat. We're not going for walkies yet. Okay. He said the word. I like pancakes, they're very yummy. Down. Pancakes. No. Down. Pancakes. Good girl. Oh, it's a good pancake. Oh, it's a good girl. I love pancakes, yeah. they're very delicious. Oh, the, okay, I'm not seeing that one that's hitting the bird. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Good girl. All that's left is the behemoth. Yep. Has he done anything dangerous yet? Nope. Oh. good girl. Yeah, I can see your eyes are dilated. You're, like, ready to go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> he said the word again. Yeah, I gotta stop saying that. Yo, boy, I love when he says that word. It means that awesome things are going to happen. Ain't you good girl. You want to you wanna sniff into the mic? Boom, boom. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her to breathe into the microphone for everybody. CT's a little high. Six turns? Alright. What kind of magic can we do in that time? We can do a bolt too. <laughs> wow, behemoths are hardy. Eh, it'll be fine. Hey, ho! Here we go! Hey, slow. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. Ah, hello. I am here. And I am going to hit you with my flails. Oh, yeah. Jeez. 240. That behemoth didn't even get a chance to do anything. Yeah, I'm kind of sad about that. Dude, a wreck to your shit. Our party's really strong. Your party is a glass cannon. Nah. No, legit. Your party is like 100% a glass cannon. Nah, we're fine. We're not a glass cannon. We're just a cannon. Where are we going? Uh, Goland. Uh, oh, okay, I had to scroll up. Yep, oop, I think I just saw it. 
Yeah, Golden Coal City. There it is. All right, uh, go read the rumors in town. All right. Future of War Two: Monster in Rion's Castle, Ghost in Colliery. Which one? Uh, I think you just have to. Re it's one of them specifically, but it's one of the last three, I think. It's future? Of mm, no. It might be Ghost of Colliery. That's right. There are rumors, coal mines and Golan, but a monster seems to have recently settled in one of them. A plan to gather knights to suppress the monster has been made to by the administration. But due to the war, no progress has been made. The administration put up a reward for anyone, from commoner to hunter who slays monsters. Uh, all hope for a quick solution. So yeah, I think that was it. Alright, so do we have to... So now we leave and go to Lazalia. All right. Which I think is the city, the one right above you. Yeah. And then go... Uh, bar again? I think go to the bar again. Uh, rumor? No. Propositions? Discovery tour? No. I don't think that's it. Uh, sure that was it? Maybe not. Uh, maybe try leaving? There was an incident of an attack by an unidentified monster in Lionel Castle, but now it was occur has occurred again in... Uh, Riovan's Castle, home of Duke Barrington. Victims of this incident are said to number over 500. Jeez, that's a lot of victims. The image of people's crushed leads are etched into the minds of those who saw it. Uh, I mean, you sure this is where we have to go? Oh, we have to see a cutscene uh, at the city of Gog. We have to go to the city of Gog. Uh, go go to the very bottom of the map. What's the the one on the far left? This one. Okay, that's Gog Machine City. Okay, we might not be able to do it yet. Okay, is there another one that we can do? Uh. It's there locked bef behind that. There locked behind that. There locked behind that. Maybe we can't do it yet. Maybe we are doomed to not get these characters just yet. Oh! Yeah, we might not be able to do it yet. Sorry about that. <laughs> eh, it's okay. Well. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. We gotta do another random battle to get ourselves back to where we were going for. I hope people like random battles. How about a random battles? Hooey! Glass cannon. <laughs> so how do I... We've got defenses. We're fine. How do we start this? The hell are those tree things? Oh, it's just a dryad. Yeah, we... well, Ramza, you are up in first because you are the most powerful of all the beings of the universe.
you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, there's somebody popping fireworks. That doesn't sound like fireworks. At least it doesn't sound like fireworks to me. There's a bonus cutscene for Agrius' birthday? <laughs> Wait, what? If you have Alicia, Lavian, Agrius, and Mustadio, and at least 500,000 funds available to you, at the beginning of Chapter 4, uh, it may work after this, but it's the minimum advancement you have to have achieved through the game. If all of the above is true, head to a town where you can advance to another town without triggering a random encounter. Go back and forth until uh, to the two locations until uh, you've reached the date. Uh, uh, Cancer 1, uh, which is Agrius' birthday. If you're in a town on Cancer 1, a triggered event will occur where Mustadio will give Agrius a present. It's called the uh, Tainer Rouge, and it's a powerful item. Huh. Okay, so they'll get hit. I That's did not know that. What did you not know? I didn't know that that was an event and an item that you could get. What was and what was not. What was what was the thing with the pups? Read the rumors. At, yeah, it's saying for Beowulf. Uh, read the rumors at Goland and then head to Lazali. There you will find Beowulf and can agree to accompany him to Goland. After a series of plot battles, he joins the party. And then he's the one that like queues up like a whole bunch of stuff. And it doesn't say that there's any prereqs besides just being in Chapter 4. <laughs> like, this this whole stream has just been our Black Mage nuking everything on the battlefield. Pretty much. That's what most of the end game of this game looks like. Yep, it's a fun cutscene. Okay. Hey, Elliot, do you know how to trigger, like, Beowulf to, like, appear? Like, do we have to get a little bit further along? He was trying to... <clears throat> He was trying to see if we would be able to get Beowulf right now. Yeah, because that he's the one that starts all the other like extra characters. <laughs> Funny you mentioned fireworks, I just heard a couple booms myself. Alright, this poor Chocobo. Yep. I'll never I'm about to have a bad day. <laughs> yep. Right in his butt. Uh, regarding Beowulf, funny enough, I was instructing Bakken how to get him a few weeks ago. I'll need to take another look. Okay. Because, yeah, everything I'm seeing is just says go to Goland uh, Mining City and then read the rumors. And then go to Lazalia and then he pops up. The, eyeba the eyeballs. But it might have been that we needed to read all the rumors. I don't know why I said eyeballs. Eyeballs. Um, the eyeballs are all that are left. Hmm. And is that a problem? No, it's not a problem at all. Just saying. That we just owned a lot of their shit. Well, their CT's in the 80s, so we'll see if the jump hits. Yeah. Who has the lowest? 60? Okay. That might hit. Yeah, that might hit. Okay, really? so you do have to go to Mount Gog first. Okay. So, yeah, you know that place all the way at the bottom of the map? You have to go there first. So, okay, well, then we have to go back south again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, then we'll go there after this fight. Yeah, okay. I wish there was, a, like, a way to stop random battles. Like, you could just temporarily turn them off. Or, like, use an item that would, like, make the chance lower. Kind of like a repel in Pokemon. Yeah. All right. Let me see if I can just math him away. M math. <laughs> nope. All right. That. Not that one. Nope. 
Nope. Hey, we have a winner. Yep, we do have a winner. And it's going to hit literally everyone. I think they have uh, rubber shoes, though. Let's do it! Except for maybe the white mage, but eh. The, he's all that's left, so... It's fine. I'll do bolt three, just to be sure. Waiting for either Baku or you guys uh, both get the mid like deep. Yeah, that's. I want him to do that. The what? Uh, the mid lights deep or the deep dungeon, depending on which version you're playing. It's the uh, optional super dungeon. Oh okay. Well, I just killed two of my own party members to end the fight. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. They deserve it. <laughs> Hi, Tacy. Black Mage is just like, I'm nuking everything, including me. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the last time I did mid lights deep. Alright, so we gotta go back south. Yeah, so you have to go all the way down to that one place. Right. There might be another battle. Alright, <gasps> not battle, but there might be one here. Yep. Actually, hang on. Let me save. Ooh, doing the safe scum. Well, we've had some progress tonight, so... I want to save my progress. Yeah. Alright. No battles. Hey. Alright, might get one here. Hey. Alright, one more. Hey. Alright. Oh, hey, something activated. So, yeah, this is the cutscene I was telling you about. Oh, yeah, you need Mustadio, uh, like, in your crew, or else this doesn't activate. Oh, no. Really? No, he, d he just has to be a part of, like, your... Oh, okay, he doesn't your, have to... Okay, gotcha. He just has to be a part of your war party. He doesn't have to be a part of your group. He doesn't have to be in the actual party. Though, right. Okay? He, he just has to be, like, part of your entourage. Yeah. This is what you found in the drift? Yes. When I started digging last week in drift number 57. Excuse me. Something weird happened in my throat. Apparently. I tried to take it apart, but I didn't know what to, what to prod where. What is this steel ball? Ding! Whoa! What? What is this? Did it respond to the stone? What's this mark here? Mmm. <laughs> Richer. Was that it? Yep. So that's the trigger that starts to activate the secret stuff. So now we go back to the mining city. So now we have to go all the way back up here. Yeah, to Goland. The one, yeah, the one right below it. That one. All right. Yeah, go ahead and save so that we don't lose anything. Yeah, because we managed to get there without any random battles, so that's nice. Yeah, now we're going to have like 20. Don't jinx it. Thanks for jinxing it. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I have that effect. I wonder if anybody's just like joined the stream out of nowhere and they're like, why do they have a webcam up and nobody in it? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I legit hope that that happens. Like, somebody just comes in and is like, why aren't you all on the webcam? And you're like, oh, that's pet cam. Yeah. Yeah, that's not supposed to be webcam, that's pet cam. Yeah, for whenever Boomer decides to yeah. be... Yeah, uh, Boomer's not here. ...to be on camera. Where is she? Is she behind the couch? I have no idea where she went. She might be under the table, too. Oh, wow, we got a lot of... Oh, uh, wow, they're all clumped up. Yeah.
Alright, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Spectral streamers. There you go, exactly. Yeah, that that is like a summoner's wet dream up there right now. Like, just go up there, you could literally hit all of them with, like, Bahamut. Uh, by the way, this is a poisonous swamp, so don't stay out of the water. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. That you can walk through the water, you just can't end your turn in the water. Yeah. Alright, well then I guess Rems is staying here because he can't get through it yet. Alright. I guess I'm just going to wait for them to approach. Yeah, I'm just going to look at you menacingly. <laughs> Ooh, they got a monk. Time to nuke. Yep. Honestly, you can maybe get height. Because they're all pretty... Maybe. You get a good chunk of them. Uh, that'll hit you, and you, and you. So wait... Okay, yeah, it hits uh, the black mage. Yep. Then we want to try and avoid that if we can. Okay, so that hits one of them. It hits none of us. Uh huh. So that hits the one. Does it hit someone? Yep, the dude in the back. Oh, yeah, it's so hard to see. Yeah. Somebody's cool. <laughs> I'm so cool! Oh. Listen to how cool I am out here! Vroom, vroom! Man, I was hoping we'd be able to get more with that. They must be on, like, a half tile, like, height. Wow, you're not having a lot of luck with math today. At this rate, you're going to fail math class. Why is everything hitting your mage? Yeah, that is a good question. Oh. Well, we have a bard. Alright, so we, we... That'll hit the bard. That'll hit Ramza. We'll hit anyone on their team. Uh, yeah, three. three. That might be worth lightning. Yeah, that's a bolt. Because they because the those two won't be affected. Alright. Continue forward with their exam. I'm here to give you your math test! You fail! And you fail! Oh wait, you succeed, but you fail! Uh, one of them lived. I know. Two of them lived. I was like, wait, you get- okay, you get a B, but you fail! <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's been a while since we've had bad guys actually survive Bolt. You need Bolt 4 now, apparently. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I do need bolt four now. Dear God, the bad guys are catching up to us. What will we do? How? How is that happening? Oh yeah, random battles scale off of your character's highest level, so they're probably the same level of whoever's your highest level character. I forgot about that. That's why random battles can be really dangerous. Well... We haven't really been having too much trouble with them. Yeah. <laughs> they're just retreating Yeah, now. they're all just scared over there, like, oh, That guy's got a nuke! Run! Really? Level a one potion? potion? Please. A potion. You insult us, good sir. A potion. A, like, not even a high potion or an X potion. A, high, a potion. Yep. Hey, boom, boom. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, God. What? Boomer. Boomer. I see no. bottle. Boomer. Boomer. No, no. Down, baby. Down. Thank you. She smells what's in the box. That's what it is. Yeah. She's like, I smell food in the box. You want Tokyo treats? Yeah, I really like Tokyo treats. Yeah, what it is, baby. You want Tokyo treats? Yeah, she's a good girl. I would very much like Tokyo treats. Yes, please, thank you. <laughs> Give me more treats. <laughs> I want attention and treats. Thank you. And play. Good handshake. <laughs> 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 
This is just the keep away game, apparently. It really is. You're just playing footsie with them until somebody commits. Which, I mean, you don't really have to because you can nope. hit them from across the map. Yep, with math. And dancing and songs. Like, you're literally just like a traveling band. <laughs> like gypsies. Eh? Yeah, Boomer's getting antsy, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, where are we going? Where do I go? <laughs> Take me outside, I have to poop. <laughs> and pee. No, I have to go. go. Oh, it's bolt time. All right, let's see who fails their math test now. Fail. Fail. He didn't have boots. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gave him a bracer, remember? That's right, I forgot. <laughs> You get an F, and you get an F, and you get an Oh, wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You also got an F. <laughs> you weren't supposed to fail. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> wait, so you can stand on these? Yeah. Oh, that changes things. Yeah, now you can wave fist. Wave fist. Ranged punch. <laughs> I love being able to cast punch. It's my favorite spell. Can I tell you about something dumb that I heard about? What is something dumb that you heard about? So you you remember that game Dominions Five that I like to play every once in a while? <laughs> that strategy game? You mean the one that you play pretty much all the time? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, there's a spell in that game. Uh, I forget what the name is called, but essentially you have to have astral and earth magic to be able to cast it. And what it does is you open a portal, coat your hand in rocks, and punch through the portal and hit somebody from across the map. Like, you literally just open a portal right next to somebody and clock them in the face. <laughs> So basically, it's like they're doing they're doing the portal gun thing. Yeah, just to punch someone. Right. That's exactly what the spell does. It's amazing. And so here's where it gets silly. I heard of a like a tournament on Discord that somebody hosted called uh, the Punch Wizard Tournament, and literally what it was was you had <laughs> ten mages that you could choose, like, you could choose what ten mages you wanted out of the game that could cast this spell, and that's all you were allowed to cast. And it was literally a tournament to see who's, who's like, combination of, like, wizards could survive getting punched and outpunch the other team with this spell. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I just, I love the idea of, of freaking portal punching people with magic. It's great. Alright. I need, I need to, I need a good nuke right now. A good nuke? Yeah. Ooh, there you go. There you go where? Yeah, it goes nowhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there is no there you go. There you go. Oh, actually, yeah. Actually, that works. Oh, yeah. That, that's like yeah. that's pretty much perfect. Yep, that's 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 game. Ooh, you could flare off that one. Yeah, exactly. That's game. That's game. 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 Does flare do fire? Is it not? No, is it, it's el it's not elemental. Is it not elemental? Even though it says it's not elemental, I'm almost wondering if it's like misprogrammed. Well, somebody guarded against it. Yeah. Boom. Like, you remember how Lightning Stab, which was like a lightning sword, doesn't do lightning or holy? It does not elemental. Yep. Like, you know, it like might be one of those shenanigans, you know? 
don't oh, you know. He's, he's, he's trying to fight Ramza. That was a bad move, yeah, sir. Yeah, you fool. And you're also poisoned. Oh, look at that. Now you've got you've got all the weirdness from the swamp. Have fun. And now you're drinking it. Wait, there's somebody still in here? Yeah, there's a dude in the swamp. It's just his head. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's just over there chilling. Send Ramza in the ninja's direction just to be sure. Man, that what she. Ha oh, your ninja is still dead. Yeah, he's two turns away, yeah. so there's still time. Okay. Now you might be able to reach him with your white mage. Whoop it. Hey, whoop it. Whoop it good. Whoop it good. Crack that whip. I'm going to have that stuck in my head all night now. Thank you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> also, chat, I've been petting Boomer this entire fight. Like, she's just over here plopped next to the couch. <laughs> like, what is so satisfying about, like, having a dog big enough to where, like, I can just... You, just, you can just, like... like yeah, that, you know? yeah I, don't, I don't have to do anything. Like, she's even laid down and I can reach her without even leaning over. And raise. It's like whenever like we're standing up, I don't have to lean over to pet her. Like that's how tall she is. Yep. In there, right, baby. That's a good boom boom. All right. But uh... God, she is shedding like crazy, and I have got to vacuum this carpet now. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> it's like we gave her a bath with uh some like oatmeal based like shampoo thing. That's like good for like her breed, and uh, yeah, it uh, it exfoliated some fur all right. Like, <laughs> like holy moly! Like I fermented her for like two days, and it was just getting just all sorts of loose fur off her. That works. Do it. Give him the goo. <laughs> Impasta for zoo. I'm giving you the go. Uh. Well. Uh, you you didn't give him the appropriate goo. He guarded against bolt three. Interesting. What are you going to do about the goo? Does he have rubber boots? I'm gonna laugh if he has rubber boots. That is depth two, and you will not be able to punch. Yeah. He's. He's making this really hard. Can you go one space like after it? Or is it all like depth two? Uh, no, you could do uh, No, go one to the right into the swamp and then you can wave fist him. From here? No, one, one back. Depth, yeah, depth one, you can punch. One, two, three. Yeah, you're in range. Okay. So if you went one forward, you'd be depth two, and you wouldn't be able to move. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Okay. Yep. You'd be too deep. Right, that should kill him. Too deep to punch. My fist. My fist. How, what? He's immortal. We've done it. He's guarding against Bolt and Wave Fist? What does he have? Hold on. What is his gear? Uh, oh, Wizard Mantle, and he has the Platina Shield, yep. So yeah, if you look, his spell evasion and his physical evasion is pretty high. Wow! Yeah. And he has the black robes. Why does he have the black robe? Wow, this guy's yeah, hardy. He's, he's kitted to the teeth. Jeez, okay. So yeah, he just has good, good physical and magic evasion. That's where hitting him with stuff that can't be dodged would be beneficial. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Boomer, you're knocking over the mic, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, well now I gotta revive my ninja again. Ah, it's fine. He, they enjoy it. Boomer knows what's up. Yep. Now, 
<laughs> yeah, this one dude is surprisingly hard to take down. And now she's scratching. Honestly, at this point, the, at this point, the poison's gonna kill him. Right. Boomer, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got an itch, and I need it scratched. <laughs> nope, can't reach him. Then it's math again. Three. Nope. Now she's rubbing against the curtains. Yep. As she do. That, that hits too many people. Oh, God, yeah, that hit everyone. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That, that was crazy. Are you not in range to just cast a normal spell? No, I've already moved. Gotcha. There you go. There we go. That's good. Let's try this again. Uh, all right, let's try Flare. You should frog him out of spite. Please kill this bastard. Shazibi! There we go. Oh, hi, White Mage. Oh, I didn't even know that was going to hit. Well, all right. Oops. We win. <laughs> it's fine. You'll be fine. White Mage is fine. We win. Yeah, they'll walk it off. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What were we trying to do? Oh, right. We were trying to get B.O. <laughs> Dio. <laughs> Dio Wolf. Got B.O., get D.O. <laughs> 50 points to whoever gets that's reference. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How's his uh, ninja JP looking? Ninja. Not too bad. Uh, yeah. How, how much did he need for twin? 900, uh, 900. Okay, so, so yeah, he's still a ways to go, but he's getting there. Yeah, I mean, they do hit really hard, though, which, I mean, we you can definitely use them. Oops. How dare you? What did I dare? My dare. And... Whew! All right. One, yeah, save that. One more. Dio wasn't Digimon. Would he be a Diomon? Exactly. She's attacking the water again. Yep. All right, so this is where we had to go, Yeah, right? Golan, yep. And then go read the rumors. Hey, welcome. Come in and relax. <laughs> is it the ghost again? Yeah, it's, yeah I think it's... It's because now they're trying to raise, like, people. All numerous coal mines in Golden, but a monster seems to have recently settled in one of them. Plan to gather nice. We already read this. Yeah, that. <laughs> Alright, now we go to Lazalia. Yep, there it there is. There it is. Now it's triggered. Uh, uh, the lore. It's been triggered. <laughs> My god. The lore. It triggers. Hi. How you doing, Boom Boom? How you doing, girl? Yes, that is my leg. Welcome. Something to drink? Yes, Boomer, that is my leg. Do you like my leg? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good leg. Let me have it. Okay. Milk, please. <laughs> I like you. Never seen anyone order that at a bar. You must have seen a lot of bloodshed, but you don't drink, eh? So it was true. There are monsters in gold. Apparently. Yeah, the coal mine shut down. We're in a fix. And we can't count on knights either in this day and age. All of Golan's recruiting hunters are here. Aren't you a hunter? You'd make good money. <laughs> I don't care about the money. I can't leave people in need. Wow, very impressive. 
If only Sir Balbanes were alive. But there's one that even a master hunter can't beat. Now that's a big problem. What kind of monster is it? It's called the Holy Dragon. Really unusual. How are you going? How are you winning, son? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go and see. Good luck. Good luck. If you're going to the coal mines, would you hire me? Who are you? My name is Beowulf. I'm a hunter. I've been I've been searching for this holy dragon. <laughs> Hello, Boomer. Yes, I love you. What do you think? I'll probably be helpful. All right, let's go. <laughs> 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 My goodness, Boomer. <laughs> the best yeah, part yay. is that that was all caught on camera. Here yes, you go. I Let me uh, uh, hang on a minute. I'm, uh, 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 no, no take, only throw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now give me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You big goof. <laughs> oh, is it my turn now? Yeah, yeah, your turn to throw. Your turn to throw. No uh, take, uh, though. Uh, uh, it's not allowed. Okay. <laughs> I can't throw it unless you let me take it. But I don't want you to take it. I only want you to throw it. All right, so now you can recruit him. Yeah, or, I already did. Or he's a guest. I told I, him. I, I told him. He, I told him we can go together. Okay, so he might be a guest character right now then. All right, so we go back to Golan Coal City then. My goodness. <laughs> yep, and now there's a fight. There is indeed a fight. All right, and I assume he's just going to be there as a guest. Uh, I believe so. Is, is he a character that you can put on the field? I. Uh, it doesn't look like it. No. no. Okay. So yeah, he's a guest. Gotcha. All right then. Ratmerg, Dunster, and the bird. Yes. Calvary Underground, third floor. Yeah, Colliery. Colliery Underground, third floor. Let's fight. And this will probably be the last fight of the... <laughs> yeah, it's getting late. Oh, it's all snowy. Day. Yeah, there he is. Yep. Defeat all enemies! It's nice to have an extra guest on the battlefield who can help with the fight. And we're not going to accidentally nuke him. <laughs> no, we're not going to nuke him. I swear. Wow, look at all those chemists. We're not, I promise we're not going to nuke the guest. Yeah, that's a lot of chemists. I pinky swear. Let me guess. They all have guns, don't they? I don't know, but I'm about to go find out. Oh, you can go hit the one up top if you wanted to. Actually, yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. Do it. Ambush. <gasps> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I love ignore height. It's so fun. Hey, what's up? I'm a ninja. El Cabong. Jeez. Yeah, you like ninjas? Yeah, those flails high rolled. <laughs> ah, he's a temple knight. And he's hiding. Willie! His name's Willie! Yep, they all have guns. Well, aren't you fancy chemists? Yeah, they're, they're literally going to gun down your mages. 
Well, they can't if I nuke them first. Yep. Are we going to nuke them? Absolutely, Foxy. Oh, of course we are. 100%. Except for that guy. Well, the white mage is already low. Yep. Oh, now it's nuke time. Yay! Nukes! All right. It's time to uh, check. Those are your characters? Yes, I know. It's time to check all of your math scores. I'm going to review your quizzes. Please have them turned in at the end of the turn. And I will let you know if you will survive. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. I, I mean, you could. It would be bad, but it would work. Yeah, that, that's, that's big oof. Uh, well, if you want to say F you to your guest. Let's try a level. Uh, nope. Nope, nothing there. Uh, ooh, you can get right, one. We got one with that one. So, so far, level five. Uh, is well, well, that hits everybody almost. Uh, Actually, wait, those two have rubber booties. You could lighten them. Yeah, bolt. but the black mage doesn't. The black mage does not have rubber boots, so that would you kill could the lightning black bolt. Mage. Yeah, so th I mean I could do that, but it would cost the black mage's life. Ah, it's fine. Your black mage doesn't need to live. They kind of need to in order to nuke. Ah, it's kind you, of important. You can pick them back up. Well, the white mage is low, so <laughs> that you know could be hard. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of my best man. Oh, well, you can hit those two then. Yeah, that that would be a bolt three, and I would guarantee getting rid of one of them. Not quite the nuke I was hoping for, but. I mean, you could go to the I could other. try a different one. You could do the I could try experience. Okay. Black Mage. I mean. The only other, the only person that it would potentially hurt is the guest. Yeah, which I don't know if he needs to stay alive. Hmm. That's uh, experience prime number. Let's try the other ones. Let's have a look. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it would have to be prime number. Um, you know you want to. Oh, wait, that's going to hit your Beowulf. That's what I was saying before, yeah. No, it is the one that the Black Mage. What? I don't know. I'm just I'm saying stuff. Yeah. No, this is the this will hit Beowulf. That's all right. Let's 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 just do it. <laughs> this, this is this is the best option we have. Maybe he'll survive. He might. Actually, we could give him rubber boots. I think he actually lived. He did. All right. So wow. He did live, but he's low. What a boss. Yeah, you, right. you need to go over there and heal them. <laughs> Stat. So we'll do this. And then just do like a cure... Right, so I could I could do a cure four. Yeah, on yourself. So Tack will move in that time. I don't know who Tack, Tack is, is. I think the one in the back right. So he's the only one that hasn't had a turn. Yeah, that's Tack. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna go. I don't think he's gonna be able to get to the white mage. No, because you're behind that wall. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, I think a cure four is fine. Yep. Do it. Give it the juice. The holy healing juices. All right, and now we're gonna have you sing a song. Um, Laugh song. That math song? No, life song. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. They get it healing. Uh, keep him hidden behind the wall. Hey, go sing in a corner. Yeah. All right, so what is he going to do? Oh, he's going after the ninja. Oh, Phoenix Wait, downing. no, he's Phoenix downing. Huh. Neat. 
Yeah, I forgot they're chemists. They can do that. Yep. <laughs> That's a problem. That's fine. We'll just donk them again. Leia doesn't want to do math. Well, the black mage says do math. <laughs> the fire gremlin says do your homework. <laughs> Alright, Rams hasn't really done much. Nah. He hasn't really had a chance. He hasn't been able to get close enough, yeah. Oh. Yeah, then there's not really much he can do then. He's just gonna have to keep on trying to get closer. Yep. <laughs> One day, I will approach. And when that day comes, I pounce. And it's gonna hurt. Alright, cure four. What does this look like? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that Ooh. animation. That's pretty. Yeah, that's a good heal. <laughs> Screw you, Fire Gremlin. <laughs> so you're just going to revive him next to me at 13 health and do okay. nothing against me. It's All right, e well. It's what we call an EXP farm. I mean, if that's what you want to do there, buddy. Uh, No, I'm just going to stay here. Yeah, I'm just going to chill here next to your bro. Yeah, keep, bro. Keep bonking him over the head. Anytime you try to revive your bro, bro. I wonder what abilities Beowulf even has. Oh, cool. The spells uh, hit the guest, too. Cool. Yep. All right, what are you doing? <laughs> Phoenix down. Uh, of course he is. Whee! But one HP. Wow. <laughs> You could have your dancer do the damage dance and kill them. Yeah. Like that's that's Honestly, I may do that actually. That'll keep the, the that'll keep oh, them yeah, down. That'll keep them from Phoenix downing. Yeah. Yep, because anytime they Phoenix down, they'll just die again. They're not gonna have yeah. enough HP to wow, stay up. That's deliciously evil. I love it. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I want nukes. So uh, I want... We have we haven't seen the dude that was behind the, the wall. Oh, fair. Uh, nope. Nope, okay. nothing. I hope everybody's been enjoying our menu cycling of math. Oh, there you go. Lightning bolt. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have the boots. Never nope. mind. Nope. Just run up and nuke. Actually, yeah, I could just run up to them and just do it. Yeah, you can just run up and nuke them. doop a doop a doo <laughs> Hello. I see you just had a turn. Uh, oh, tackle up a turn in that time. Yeah, but flare is a single target. It's not AOE, so. Well, no, tack is the one that's on the stairs. Yeah. So he would move before it hit him. Yeah, but if you target him, you can just do target, and then it'll move with him. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Yep. There you go. 600 damage. Yeah, that'll kill him. Boom jam. And then if he goes pick somebody up, doesn't matter. Five dollars for me. <laughs> I hate all mail. I hate mail. I hate mail. <laughs> all right. Well, you're not gonna be picking anybody up. Nope. Wow, that really is like the biggest f you to Phoenix Downs. Just dancing. <laughs> She's literally dancing on their graves. Pretty much. And then he's back here just keeping yeah, they're, all of us alive. Like, these two are just doing their own thing every fight, and then everybody else is doing all the heavy lifting. <laughs> Yay, Phoenix Yay, down! Yay, somebody else to die from dancing. Oh, they won't die from dancing. Oh, Unless... Oh, oh, you get the dude down there. Yeah, I think he can range punch. No. From where? Uh, the, the dude in the center. Is that close yeah. enough? Yeah, I think if you go one down. God, I wish I could get a good view of him. Yeah, go to that blue square in the center. One, two, three. Yeah, there. Yeah, that, you, that... yeah you can range punch him. Oh, okay, I can move there. Okay. Yeah. Thrust de punch. I just have to keep doing this because I can't fucking see. Yeah, it. yeah. Some of the maps are not uh, the most intuitive for their design. 
in terms of like visibility. Mm -hmm. Whiz numbers! <laughs> Time to dance on your grave! I love the sound that it plays, it's so ominous. <laughs> I wonder what increases the damage of Wiznibus. It's a magic stat, maybe? Yeesh. <laughs> and now we go up and bonk. <laughs> Hi. Um, What's up? This is awkward. I see that you're mortally wounded about that. Gonna need to finish the job, but... No hard feelings. Right. <laughs> Beowulf didn't really do much. No, eh, most guests don't really do much in these fights. They either contribute absolutely nothing and survive, or they contribute absolutely nothing and die. <laughs> God, th this duo of bard and dancer is stupid. Yep. <laughs> Just imagine if you had five of them. I've seen people do that before. He's still going to try and revive them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get up and fight! <laughs> Do something! Like, you could just sneeze on them. How much health does he have? Uh, I think he had 14, but that guy has like 136. Yeah, so, so he needs a good spell. Yeah. And he just went, so... <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. It was Whitman. So you'd kill him before he got another turn. Wow, that one's going to do like half as much damage as the other one did. And just keep dancing and singing. Yep. <laughs> I remember I did a challenge run of this game once. I gave, uh, I had a party of all dancers. I gave them all regenerator. And then the goal was I was only allowed to do damage with Wiznibus. <laughs> and so I had to try and like survive long enough for like Wiznibus to kill them. Yeah! Level up! So yeah, one of the things I kept doing was, like, regenerator on them. To try and keep them alive while they were dancing. <laughs> Just dance, dance, dance. Stop them from dancing! Dance, dance, dance. dance. <laughs> Why are we dying? Dance, they dance, dance, dance. Keep dancing! Uh, no, I'm not quite gonna reach them. Whee. Like, it gets, like... Early game, it's not too bad, but as you get like later and later in the game, it just takes longer and longer. Where really? Is he going? Yeah. What are you doing? He's just like, I don't want to get anywhere near that flare shit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And that's the end of the fight. And Ramza did pretty much jack all except for a wave fist. But he made them think about it. He did make them think about it. <laughs> hey, but have you considered punch? <laughs> <laughs> punch? It does this. God, if I ever play a barbarian like character in d and D, I'm totally going to be doing shit like that. I think I decided my next character in D&D is going to be some kind of spellcaster. Really? Yeah. I want to do a spellcaster build at some point. Nice. Uh, going to do like pure caster or... I don't know. I, I'm deciding if I want to do wizard or sorcerer. Okay. Oh, we're going into another battle. Yep. Welcome to a multi-fight. All right. Well, uh, it's a good thing I chose a different save slot. Can you give Beowulf a uh, battle booty? A what? Yeah. Give him, go to items and give him lightning boots. So you don't actually can kill him. Oh, he has black rubs too. Jeez, he has good stuff. Yeah, don't you have some extra rubber boots? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now he's not going to get a lightning. 
<laughs> now he's not gonna get lightning. Lightning. Uh, he's getting pretty close to getting that dual blade. Yeah, he needs like two more fights, probably. <laughs> yep, and then he'll be able to do it. And then if we want, we can swip, We can finally swap him back to Lancer, and he can go full-blown dual-wield yep. lances <laughs> if we wanted to do that. Or we could just keep him as a ninja for a while. Yeah. All right, on to the next fight. Even though we said that that would be the last fight of the night. Oh, no, I meant this like series of fights would be the last <laughs> Albert. <laughs> exactly. You really like the uh the U formation, huh? <laughs> you precisely. <laughs> Bing, bong, boom, bang, You can boom, tell that we're getting tired. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's 10 o'clock. 10 15. 10 something. 10. Yeah, that number. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Look out. There's thieves. They like to steal your stuff. Don't steal my stuff. I'm coming to steal your stuff. Don't steal my stuff. I'm stealing your stuff. Like your heart. I love you. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do that. Let's strike her. Now I gotta punch you or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's your next turn. Oh, now I gotta punch you. Uh, oh, she's last. Alright, so I've got plenty of time to, to get her out of it. Yeah, bonk her with somebody. Yeah, like, I could probably bonk her with the black mage and she'll be fine. Yeah, or the bard. So that way your black mage can, like, math or something. Alright, well, let's take care of this little problem. Yep. Ooh, got a crit! Yep. Yeesh. Like I said, we're taking care of that problem. Yep. There was a thief that had a turn. Can you reach him? Oh, no, he went up. Dang. Yeah, he went up. I can't reach him. What the hell was that? Oh, they have a behemoth. Oh, they have a behemoth. All right. Huh. Can you hit that chemist? Oh, wait, no. He's protected. He's got cover. Yeah, Is he a chemist? Where's the chemist? In, in the thing down there. Oh, I didn't even yeah. see him. There's a little hole down there, yeah. This could be a little tricky. Yeah. There's something in there. Oh, there's a behemoth in there. And he missed. Yep. Good job, Beowulf. Oh, he's a king behemoth. Uh-oh. Ooh, blade grass clumming clutch. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I think king behemoths are the tier 2 or tier 3 behemoth. I think it's the tier two. All right, I th hmm. Who, who goes first? Uh, okay, so dog will have to be the one who bonks her. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, he's got a harp, so I don't think he's gonna do too much. Yeah, I don't think so. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, there you go. You can hit all your people. Yeah, all of my people. Yeah, all your people and that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I can't I can't see that oh wait no it's right it's outside now that's right yeah so yeah we can see everything then let's try three uh, mm, oh, uh, oh hey you can hit the behemoth I can hit the behemoth which is a decent target it is let's have a look at the fourth one. everybody everybody gonna die <laughs> including that behemoth. Actually, let me look at height. Yeah, there's a lot of verticality in this one. Uh, I can 
hit your ninja. And that's it. All right, so we don't want that. And then, oh, you can hit the chemist. Honestly, that may not be a bad idea. Yeah, prevent their healing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, I'll consider that, but I want to see if I can get that. But I want to see if I can get the payments. Did I look through the other numbers yet? Uh, I don't remember. Don't think so. I don't think so. So a three will hit the chemist, but let me see if I can hit the behemoth. And nope. Yeah, I think three it was your best bet. All right. Um. And you can just kill the chemist. Yeah, because even if I kill one of the behemoths, the chemist can pick them up. Yep. So getting rid of the chemist is like just a good priority to have. Yep. They're the only one who gets hit. All right, we'll do it. Just make sure that anything we knock out doesn't get picked back up. Yep. And it's going to take a while for that other behemoth to get in range to do stuff. Yeah, well, we also have that king behemoth that's like right here. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Rams has got it under control. Move him over here. <laughs> yep, and now you got to bonk your white mage. Uh-huh. Uh, you have a weird heart ranged attack thingy. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, so you need to... Oh, move. yeah, I have to move away. Yeah. That's why I, I remembered that about them. I'm gonna sing a song. Twang. There you go. There we go. She's out what of it. What the? Yeah, she got regenerator. Yeah, no, no, but you healed. Your harp steals health. Oh, so we stealed the white mage's health. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Oh, and that's right. You have the blood harp. All right. So. So. Dance. What shall we do? We can slow dance. You want to do the slow dance to make them slow, or you want to do the debuff dance to make them debuffed? That's a good question. Hmm. Uh, the choice is yours. Go on. I'm going to do slow dance. All right. Slow their asses down. Less turns, more turns for me. Exactly. Like, manipulating speed is deceptively powerful. Wow, yep. really, dude? That, okay. Get back here and let me kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja's just chasing him down yeah, at this point. Yeah, <laughs> that one dude's just like, I don't want to fucking deal with any of this shit. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, oh, you might be able to jump on the behemoth. Uh, the behemoth might be getting a turn soon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will not. I will not hit it. Never anymore. mind. So, look how adorable the behemoths are, though. I want a behemoth plushie from this game. Slow dance. Slow your ass down. Calm down. Take a break. Take a nap. Nope. Well, fine then. Don't take a nap. <laughs> oh, well, time to kill the behemoth. Yep, you're already. Oh, he's got. It. Okay, he's got his ass to me. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Present posterior. Punch. Punch. Oh, wow. He lived. Dang. Yep. And he countered, but he missed. King behemoths are hardy. Ho, ho. He barely lived. Yeah. If you had the bracer, you would have killed him. Oh, well. Time to run. Yeah, let's ah! run away from him. That, <laughs> this way he has to spend movement to yeah. attack Ramza. <laughs> It's your problem now, Be Beowulf. <laughs> you just... Actually, yeah, he might finish him off. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, at least. There you go. Perfect. All right, no more King Behemoth. Thank you. All right. So now we have another Behemoth we got to worry about. Yeah, and so... that thief that's running away. Yeah, the Behemoth and the thief are all that are left, but the ninjas kind of go on after the thief. So, if I move here, I should be able to hit the behemoth. You might be able to. Yeah. What? 
Really? Yeah, because then the AoE would reach. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Elevation doesn't interfere. Perfect. All right. So... Oh, which one is he? Is he Striker? Uh, he's Galatea. Okay, he's... Okay. Gar Garatea. So then actually, Flare would hit. Yeah, Flare would hit. Cool. Do it, do it. Ooh, that reaches too. Yeah, it's because Flare is in an AoE. Uh, they extended the range by one. And I'll just have you sing a life song. Because why not? And I'll just keep on slamming. So slam graceful. Dancing. Also, I thought there was like supposed to be like a monster in a mine. Like none of these look like we haven't entered the mine yet. Like the last, I thought the last one was the Take mine entrance. There we go. <laughs> Got both of them. Can you imagine if there was just a straight up like sleep song? <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so dumb. That, that thief is playing you. Okay, so that's his. That was his movement range, right? Yeah. So yeah. if you stay down below, you can wait next turn and then just jump up and get him. So actually, yeah, I could just stay here. But you want to get a little bit closer though, because if he just goes all the way in the corner. So yeah, like go like down below on the lower level. Yeah, like right there. Like right here. Yeah, and he can't reach you, but you can reach him because you can jump up next turn. Yep. Yeah, now I'm pretty much guaranteed to reach him. And now that behemoth's getting ready to die. Where? Poor behemoth. Bye. If I remember correctly, I think there was a way to teach Ramza Ultima, but I might be mixing that up with one of the other versions. Like War of the Lions or something. Mm-hmm. Maybe Leia knows. Leia, is it possible to teach Ramza Ultima in this game? Slow dance. Take a nap. I seem to vaguely remember that being a thing. Yeah, well, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> that thief is screwed. Yeah. What am I attacking for? Nah. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, I mean the ninja's gonna get him. Yep. Let the ninja have his fun. He needs the XP anyway. <laughs> exactly. That's the only downside about the calculator is that like all the experience just gets hemorrhaged into the one person. Hi. Ya bonk. Ya bonk. Well done. I have no idea, but now I want to find out. Okay. <laughs> that ninja was chasing after the thief the entire match. Yep. <laughs> and it ended with him killing him. Could you imagine how chaotic that would be, like, in D&D? &D, a, a thief getting chased down by a ninja? <laughs> like, two dex characters just, like, constantly acrobatic, singing, like... Constantly acts or bad acting each yeah. other. Yeah. Dead. Just the way you said it was funny. Yeah. This is what I do. Alright, last battle. Alright, so there is a third one. Yep. And you have one mission to destroy Aku. Sure. We need the, the sword. Yep. <laughs> I just love how like the webcam on our stream is literally just like a dog sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she looks like she's just done. Yeah, she's all pooped out now. So it's past like her walk time now. 
You still planning to walk her? Yeah, after the stream. She needs to go to the restroom, probably, before bed. So this will be the last one, and then we'll I'll start doing that after the stream wraps up. Mm -hmm. Colliery underground. First floor. Uh-oh. Are there more fights than I think? I thought it was only the three. Well, last time I said third floor at one point. Huh. Yeah, there's more fights than I think. Oops. Oh, well. Well, we did just save the game. If you wanted to end it here, we could. Yeah. It's getting really late. Yeah. But you're starting to get to the dragons. I know, but we'll get to the dragons next time. Okay, fine. I know. I want to keep playing. I really do. Quit but waiting. It's, it's, I know, but it's getting late. <laughs> dragon, dragon, if, punch it, the dragon. Dragon. <laughs> Punch Z. <laughs> like again, I want to keep playing, but it is getting really late. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and wrap up, and then we'll punch dragons lot. next time. Yeah, because we're gonna be coming back to this next Saturday. Uh, well, that's a little thing I needed to mention to you. I thought it was the week after you might not be able to make it. Uh, yeah, that one too. You need two Saturdays off in a row. I'm yes, maybe. You never mentioned Probably. That. Uh, I just found out about it. Well, I already mentioned the other one, but next week, uh, well, this coming up Friday, Saturday, TC's abducting me. Okay. For well, couple time. All right. Well, then I guess in that case, we'll let you all know what happens next week. Yeah. Sorry. We may move it to like Friday and we'll just do like an in person one uh, like that following week. Yeah. Just to make sure that we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry about that. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll let y'all know what happens on our Discord. So keep an eye on our Discord. Yeah. There you go. We'll let you know what's up. So, But as far as our uh, streams uh, next week, uh, again, keep an eye on our Discord because things are crazy right now. Yeah. So, But anywho, thank you all for joining us tonight. This was fun. And uh, we shall see you all next week for more stream time. And Boomer. Yeah, you see Boomer? Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Gaze upon the boomer in her natural habitat. I like the fan because it keeps me cool. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Night, y'all. Oh, easy. Yeah. Time over. People moving. Motion detected. Dog activated. <laughs> <laughs>